One second. Okay. One more second. Sorry, Dave, we're not playing the game you want. But we will play it soon. Just not right now. Maybe in 2023 we will. We'll play it in 2023. 2023, Outer Wilds. Not right now. Not right now. All right, there, oh crap. All right, made the art. Mord, <laughs> Mord, I'm Morgan Express. <laughs> hey Mord. Mord, did you know I'm Morgan Express? I knew that, Bonnie. All right, Agatha, Agatha Christie, Orient Express. Here we go. Starring David Sut Suchet, Suchet, David Suchet. He's in it. Apparently, you don't play as him though. He's just in it. Monkfish. That's gross, Drombus. I bet monkfish like have really low self-esteem. Everyone is constantly like calling them ugly. Does this game have more randomly wandering around? Abby, how you doing? Hey, Tukos. How do you edit screensavers? Dude, I don't know. What do I look like? Hey, Plastic Canvas, you saw this movie? Murder on the Orient Express. Starring the French detective, uh, Poirot. We're playing the US version voiced by Corey Feldman. You just cook two frozen pizzas? Let's see, does this even work? I didn't test it. Yeah, it does. Um. Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't me. Who did that? Okay. Space Hopper Redeem, look at the angry dog. Chugga chugga choo choo. One sec. Chugga 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 choo choo. Aw, games. Aw, games. I'm on a train. Monkers taste great. They have low self-esteem. Everyone's always calling them ugly as AF. You had grilled cheese sandwich and green olives for lunch. I had air fried broccoli, which I put way too much salt on, which I always do with broccoli. And then it like gets all in the top and it's like super salty, but it was still good. And chicken. Boiled chicken. Oh, that's the intro. Okay. Options. We like anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing. All right, here we go. Is this the Orient Express? New Paltz, New York, 1924. Uh-oh. It's a standoff. In the house, you're surrounded. If you don't walk out that door unarmed in 10 seconds, we open fire. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 7 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy Last new chance. Okay. Perforated, boys. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. America. Woohoo. Yeah. Oh. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Alright, that that's just randomly fire bullets. In there. <laughs> Your Auntie Edison gets turned off when you eat at Taco Bell. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. What the heck was that all about? Ten years later in Istanbul, Turkey. Monsieur Hikir Poirot is a personal friend of mine. He has done a great service of the most secret and international importance to the government of Turkey. Now, he is suddenly summoned by the Prime Minister himself to return to Great Britain at once. Great Britain? I dined with him only last evening and promised him that I, Marcel Bourg, Director of the train company assures his friends passage aboard this evening's train. Take my friend Poirot in charge, Mademoiselle Marceau. Secure a famous French detective and see to his every wish. 
This office is depending upon you. Succeed, and I will consider the application for promotion you place on my desk week after week. Happy New Year, Fair. Mithra. And satisfy Happy yourself New Year, with the position of clerk for the few <gasps> short days there you will remain in my employ. <laughs> Monsieur Poirot? That's him! <gasps> <gasps> All right, Antoinette. Here at last is the chance you've been waiting for. Your fate is in your own hands. It's Monsieur Poirot, bro. Monsieur... His first name is Monsieur? Monsieur Poirot? His name is... First name is Monsieur. Monsieur Poirot. And his middle name is Hercules. Hercules. <laughs> his full name is Monsieur Hercules Poirot. Monsieur Hercules Poirot. Uh, so who are we playing as? Is this that marble lady? That's in some of the Agatha Christie books? Buckets of dried figs, apricots, dates, raisins, and mulberry. Poirot is in French. He's Belgian. He's Be That's how the lyrics of the song go, but it's not true. He's actually French. He's lying. Whoa, look at this guy. Dual wielding... Dual wielding, uh... Why am I going blank? Kitchen cleavers. This stall sells knives and cutlery of all kinds, even razor-sharp scimitars. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me... Start. I think the anti-aliasing doesn't go on unless you restart. Okay. I should go a Poirot mustache. I don't think I even can. My face hair is weird. I, I have it, but I don't think I can actually grow a mustache like that. The signature mustache. Date Poirot. Kiss Poirot. Hey, Inks. Poirot is in I French. I do not have time to He's Belgian. I must get... He's Belgian. His name's Hercule Satan. 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 Why would he speak French? This fool exactly. tries to sell me a cleaver with no style or grace. Tell him which is the better cleaver for the hacking of meat. Kitchen axes. Um... Yeah, why would he speak French if he's not from France, Sebelinus? That's my logic. It's like a Mr. Pringles. I don't know. Your right hand. The cleaver in your right hand. This inferior piece of stamped metal! You are a fool! How am I supposed to know? The cleaver in your left hand. At last you arrive. Obviously you know nothing of cooking. This is indeed the finest forged German steel. What the hell you want from me? Who are these yahoos? What is that all about? Is that from the book? Wait, what's over here? Is this marple? Or is this some other lady? Every time I come to Sakeki, its beauty leaves me speechless. Sakeki? Where are we? Are we in Turkey? Where are we again? <gasps> it's Poirot! What's he doing? What's he doing? It's Poirot. I do not have time to browse. Oh, you can skip. Fine. Oh my god, you can actually skip the dialogue. Wow, this is great. Barrels of olive oil. Wow, this is amazing. Hey, syllogism. Yeah, you can actually get back here. Get back here, Poirot. Oh, there's a goat over here. Is that a joke? <laughs> there's goats. What is that goat eating? Yeah, you can actually skip dialogue, thank God. Okay. Monsieur Poirot? So, look at him, he's a little craft, he's a fast little guy. Your uncle had it, he'd use earwax. You'd have to grow your mustache so long to... Like, you know, it has to be like so long. Like if you don't twist it up, what would it be? It would be like down to here, right? Just hangs down. Oh my God, Poirot. Out of the way. Now see here, Foscarelli, I've done my fair share of traveling. I'll tell you, Kataya tiles are the finest made in Turkey. And I tell you, it is the enamel tiles from Iznik. These are the oldest and the most beautiful of the Ottoman Empire. Well, they are quite impressive to be sure, but the Kataya tiles are more beautiful. Gentlemen, please, may I get by? What have we here? A young lady. lady, settle the dispute. You know the famous enamel ceramics? Yes, of course, I live in Istanbul, but... We have Istanbul, to wait but... here for our porter. Find us an example of a Kataya tile. And an Iznik. Just borrow them for a second. No need to buy any. No. I don't have time for this. 
Then permit us to continue the debate without you. What is this? Ah, she Ah. Did you bring us a or an easy? Not yet. What is well, this? Please re is this how women were treated in 1930, whatever? Like, you, you can't get past us till you settle a stupid argument about tiles? Ah, lady, we'll just stand here and argue. I gotta go find a stupid tile. You got it? You got a tile? Boxes of tea from. Where's the tile? It's the same goat model. I'm gonna go find a freaking tile over here. What, what do I look like? A tile guy? Need a suit jacket? Like. The time for talk. You got tiles? Tiles? Anybody got tiles? Oh, here you go. Well, I'll just borrow this, but I must. Okay. That isn't. I got one of the tiles. Something. What, what kind of tile do we have? Where's my inventory? Oh, here we go. It's an Iznik, and now we need a Kataya. What are these things? Inventory, look at... Oh, you can zoom in on stuff. That's cool. Oh, you can flip it over. Okay. That's my... We need to f We need to meet uh, Poirot. Okay, so you can um, move it all... Okay, you can just look around. That doesn't make... We need a Kataya tile. That isn't... That isn't. Oh, thank God we can. Pottery and artifacts from mess. Can we talk to this person? This merchant sells Iznik tiles. So we have to find another. They're just kind of giving you a, like a little, some crap in your way as you're trying to chase um, Poirot. I have more. I'd best. The famous French detective Poirot. Maybe we can murder them. That would be cool. Murder is fun. Barrels of. Hmm, I wonder if there's. The Bosphorus, one of the great waterways of the Orient. Where are you? In Every Turkey? time I come to Sakek. Sirkeki Turkey. Sirkeki. Turkey. It's in Istanbul, Turkey. Sirkeki Station. Sirkeki. <sighs> yeah, maybe we can get one of these things and murder. Is this tiles? Whatever they are speak. We have to. Over here? No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I'm gonna find another tile. Well, this is a great start. There we go. This is a great start. Just putting in, putting some filler in here, <laughs> as we chase boy rot. Well, I'll just. Okay, is that what we needed? Okay. Great. That's what I love. A little bit of filler. A little bit of filler in my games. Okay. <laughs> ah, Shirita. It's the same Perhaps ghost. Perhaps now. We... Did you bring us a kataya or an izni? Here's an Iznik tile. It's beautiful. Or I say, here's a Kataya bowl. It's the best. They both look stupid. Let's say the bowl. Here is a Kataya bowl. It is the best, of course. There. What did I tell you? Thank you, young woman. Now we can turn our attention to more important things. Uh, like those fountains we were discussing earlier. Like she can't get by. Like she just can't get by? <gasps> it's him! The famous French detective Poirot. He's looking at barrels of rocks. Bowls of rocks. No, these will not do. These will simply not do. I need more. Don't you have any more? Monsieur Poirot? Get back here! He's an elusive- Let No! Me pass. What? Her Excellency has lost her parasol. What is this? We are searching for it. To protect her from the sun, you see. What is this nonsense? No, we didn't pay for it. We're just borrowing it. I beg your pardon, but I am in a great hurry. Let's knock him over. And you are an ignorant girl indeed. Go about your business. I expect she can buy another somewhere nearby. A parasol fit for a princess? Here, I think not. Jeez, that's a little bit low cut. What? Just walk around. I'm truly sorry, princess, but I'm in a great hurry. Your generation often is. <laughs> I do not linger here for my health. I've lost my parasol. I can't think where I left it. I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. If you could help us look for it. I am not as mobile as I was at your age. And Schmidt would rather fast than make an adequate search. I would be very grateful. I mean, this is very adventure game, you know? This is very, like, Monkey Island kind of thing. It's just weird that it's happening in, like, an Ag Agatha Christie game. Where you can't get past till you find some parasol. Buckets of... But at least you can search around without having to Every time listen to all I'm this not, over and over. I'm not. Okay, we need to go find a parasol now. Oh, here? I lost my parasol. Your generation is so lazy. Is that the grain? Okay. Oh, did like the, the goats have it or some chickens? 
so khaki <laughs> I will not let you pass until you find my parasol, you lazy... Your lazy generation must do something for us, the older ones. Parasol's an umbrella, yeah. Boxes of teeth. Yeah. It's an umbrella. I guess it's supposed to be for the sun, yeah. What is that? What's the goat eating? Do we give him grain? Wait, we have to do Monkey Island puzzles? <laughs> give grain to the goat? Do goats even eat... Do goats eat grain? Oh, there's the parasol behind the goat. This is ridiculous. It's kind of amazing, though. Kind of amazing. It's so dumb. <laughs> Feed grain to the goat to get the parasol. It's behind a goat. Oh, yes, I was, uh... This is neither... Making love to that goat, and I left my parasol there. Give her one of these mushrooms. Could this be the parasol? But yes. Parasol Don't mushroom. Voila. I still must buy a bracelet for my arthritis, Schmidt. Go there is ample everything. time yet for the train. Let this helpful young woman pass. Hey, Mia, now. What the hell? Can we get, can we please get fine boy rot now? Please no more. Please no more. No more. No, I gotta go. I gotta find boy rot. Oh, please, no. miss. I have the train, the train to Calais to catch, but I am so turned about in here. The heat, the foreign peoples. I pray for a guide, but it is frivolous and weak, and I know and God rightly does not grant these prayers. What? I'll give you directions. I'm with the train company. I can give you directions. Directions? Oh, no. <laughs> I am doing very poorly with directions. Please, show me the way, or I am becoming lost forever. If you say no, she's just like, uh, okay, well, I guess we have to say yes. So she'll just say it then. Really? I don't have time for this. I've got to find the French detective boy rock. It is most important. I have prayed. I am giving my promise. There will be much calamity. Will you be my guide, European miss? The heck? Very hey, well, but hey, I'm Vervain. in a hurry. Please, try to keep up. Fetch quests. Oh, thank you. Yes, take me to the train, please. I must not be missing the train that leaves Istanbul on this day. Okay. I am Greta Olsen, matron to Nobody Oshman. cares. <laughs> All right, we gotta, we gotta bring her and show her the way to the... No, no, not more. No. There can't be more. Hector, make sure the statue is safely on board before departure. Yes, Mr. Ratchet. Who do they sell this pottery to? Tourists, I expect. Huh. Well, at least the dust looks authentic. Excuse us, please. Well, hello. <laughs> please, do hello. Not wish to Here's a lady us. who can settle train will be leaving an argument me. for us. French, right? Are you traveling with us this evening? Yeah, can you please move step aside? I don't see what business that is of yours. Yeah, this is our no sidekick. No need to go all stuck up with me, lady. Fellow passengers and all, just trying to get acquainted. Oh, I see. These are all passengers on the train. And we're getting to know them before the train. That's what's happening. Oh, that and that makes more sense. I think that's what's happening. If you don't let us pass immediately, I will see that you never travel on this line again. Not that I think you could make that stick, but I'm willing to continue our chat later. Now get out of here. There we go. That that make that makes sense if these are uh wait, what'd you do with the pizzas slightly? What is this a picture of? What did you do to that pizza? I can't even show it. It looks like it might be offensive. What did you what did you do to this pizza? What is happening here slightly? Are you okay? Did you drop this on the ground and then run over it in your car? What is that? Okay. Whatever I, they I are. I think these are going to be people on the train, yeah? To Sir Keki Station. Antoinette, you cannot steal the poor merchant's wares. What are you talking about? Huh? A fine way to start out an adventure. Huh? Stealing from innocent people. What on earth are you talking about? I'm just trying to go in here. <laughs> She's quite intent on following me to the platform. Do I have to use the ticket? Is that what you mean? I won't do that. What are you what are you talking about stealing? Stealing what? What are they what is going on? 
I can't just go a in. A fine way to start. Stealing from innocent people? What? <laughs> Confused. What did I steal? <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a mistake to play this one. I knew it. But we're already in it. We're already in it. Now we gotta. Now we gotta hang tough. Like the new kids on the block. Whatever they are speak. What? Pottery and art. What? Are, oh, I have to go. Oh, you have to go bring back the um tile. Buckets of. You have to go bring back the tile. That's what she's talking about. You have to go back here, return the tile. Okay, over here, right? Okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> and this lady's following me. I gotta bring the there. tile back. But we stole the bowl. We stole the bowl. But technically we gave it to someone else, so it's not stealing if you give it to somebody else. Oh, this also has quick travel between... You can double click. Okay, so there's like some basic conventions of like... Sane adventure games in this one. Double clicking to instant travel. Okay, so maybe those are all people that travel in the train. Maybe I should have talked to that that last group of people at least. Might blend it up, the pizza. What happened to it? It fell on the ground? You cooked it without a tray and it fell through the bars of the even shelf. That wouldn't happen unless it's like a raw dough. Did you put raw dough in your oven? Did you really do raw dough pizza in oven no tray? Did you really do that like meme image? That meme image? Let me see. Let me see where like they have like the pizza falls through oven rack. But if it's a frozen pizza, it wouldn't be like raw. <laughs> Did you do? <laughs> I guess this is the famous one. But here's another good one. This? Did you do this? Is this what you did? <laughs> is this even real? <laughs> it like cooked? It cooked from like a nuclear explosion? Or is this this what you did? You can't put raw dough in an oven rack, I don't think. But wouldn't you see it happen? I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe frozen pizza works differently where you are. Royalty, the rich and where I am, it doesn't happen like that. The frozen pizzas I get, they don't fall through the racks. Ah, uh, hey cat. Yeah, add raw chicken. Add some raw chicken slightly. That'll that'll uh. You didn't read the instructions, which was raw dough. Okay. Raw dough. I've never seen a raw dough one. All right. Can we get rid of this lady? Royalty, the... Where's Poirot? Let's go. There he is! Poirot, the famous French detective Poirot. Ooh, he looks, he's looking a little suspicious. Poirot, Poirot, get back here. Poirot, please don't get in my way. Mary. Not now, not now. When it's all... It's all behind us, what? Well, what are you waiting for? Don't let us stand in your way. Uh, okay. I'm not. I'm gonna go. So that's someone we know. A beautifully crafted mosaic of a ram. Uh-huh. Sakeki is more than a train station. It is a work of art, all its own. This is what it really looks like. Tickets, please. Get out no of one may board the train without a ticket. I got a ticket. I must be making an inventory of my possessions. Why is this lady Everything. with us? It gets lost. Does this lady actually come with you in the book? Why did we have her just hanging out with us? Oh, okay. Alright, later. The yeah. time for talk. Okay. What was the point of having her come with you? Just to be weird? Okay, that was weird. There's some weird stuff I going on. So quickly. I some weird stuff going on in this game. There he is! The famous French detective! But I must travel this evening to London. It is of the most importance. My friend, Monsieur Booth, director of the line, assured me of a room aboard the Calais coach. I am sorry, Monsieur. It is incredible. It is off-season, yet the world elects to travel tonight. Not a single room remains. Is that David Suchet? Pardon me, Messieurs. I'm Antoinette Marceau from the Istanbul office. Are you quite well, Mademoiselle Marceau? You are flushed and winded. I'm fine, really. It is? With something okay. of a chore to Sounds catch up to. different than... The train. By the train, it does not move. Mademoiselle, please tell the gentleman the Calais coach is full. 
It sounds different. He sounds different. Is this Suchet? Okay. That's it. His voice sounds different to me when I, in my memory. What's up, Mr. Mr. Poirot? I work for your friend, Monsieur Boot. I work for your friend, Monsieur Bosk. Mr. Uh, Bosk. Of course. And he, without doubt, has given to you the description most precise. I would have known you anyway. I have a passion for crime. You enjoy the study of it, I hope, but not the committing. Oh, the study, the gathering of clues, the questioning of suspects. Merely what the Americans call the footwork. Not the committing. Legwork, I believe, monsieur. As you say, I prefer the detection that occurs here. The little racer. <laughs> he said the My thing. My scrapbook contains many accounts of your cases. That mysterious affair at Styles, the death of Roger Ackroyd, the noted businessman, Lord Edgware's murder. But forgive me, I'm rambling. He said the thing about the gray cells. Agatha Christie, murder on the Orient Express. Do we? Can we look at the manual? So like, or let's look at the box so I can know like what's going on in this game. Let's see. Climb aboard a luxurious train and play the key role in Agatha Christie's world famous murder on the Orient Express. 20 hours, sure. Play as a brand new character and work alongside the famous French detective Hercule Poirot to investigate a savage murder committed on a lavish train. All passengers quickly become suspects. Garner critical and blah, blah, blah. Use little gray cells, blah, blah, blah. This, okay, that's the UK cover. Okay, so he works alongside the famous French detective. It said that on the back of the box. It said that. Uh, let's look at okay this is the u.s cover has some more stuff going on here oh yeah so these are all people that are on the train okay i get that now that makes sense now i see what they were doing now it was just really weird how they did it like people were in your way you couldn't just walk past it's a weird way to do that it's a really weird strange way to do that Hercule Poirot, antoinette Mar so we're antoinette marceau we don't exist princess dago Jirmoff, count andrani Samuel Ratchet, Colonel Art Buttnot, Art Buttnot, Colonel Abutnot. Is that it? Okay, and the same. Okay, so this is just like she's like a crime fan. We're playing as a crime fan, a fan of crime and Poirot. Roger Ackery's great in Ghostbusters. I have a passion for crime. <laughs> I love crime. So into crime. Can you assist me, Mademoiselle? That's really what Poirot sounds like? What? It just sounds weird. It sounds like he's Poirot holding his nose. Poirot. Oh, okay, I don't know how to find a voice clip. That's really what it sounds like? A dementia. Yeah, they wrote French right on the back of the box. I don't know. He's out. It says it right on the back cover. It says it right here. It even says it on this one. Play as a brand new character and work alongside the famous French detective Hercule Poirot. I don't know. I don't know. I think you guys are wrong. He's French. And has a solution suggested itself? Huh? It is of the greatest imp And has a solution. Can you assist me, Mom? And has a solution. It is of the greatest importance that I reach England. This is what he really sounds like? Rex, how you doing? You're watching Sherlock Holmes The Awakened, VOD. Where Holmes inspires a young Poirot to become a detective on a train. Does that happen in that, really? Rex, how you doing today? Who's the first suspect? Well, there's no murder yet. Well, I'll give you my ticket, I guess. I don't think that's appropriate. All right, how about we, um... This is neither... I know what to do. I know what to do. We'll use our feminine wiles to seduce this guy into giving us a... Giving him a free ride. Or we'll double-team this guy, him and her. What is your name? Pierre Michel, mademoiselle. I've seen your name on reports. Your record with the company is excellent. Thank you, mademoiselle Marceau. I always try to do my very best Double for my team this guy. Then strive now, Michel. Perhaps monsieur could sit up in the salon car for the beginning of this journey? We must find a room for Mr. Poirot. We must find a room for Monsieur Poirot. Still can't train. Mademoiselle, if I could construct an additional compartment, I would. Let me see your passenger manifest, please. Well, he and Watson are I have an extra plan of the Calais coach with all the passengers listed. Take it, by all means. I vaguely remember that, Rex. That's cool, if Poirot's in the Sherlock game. 
As you can see, every room is filled. Ooh, puzzle! There are extra beds. Only two. In Mr. McQueen's room, but he has paid for a single. And Miss Olsen's room, but I hardly think Monsieur Poirot. No, merci. I would not think of it. Of course. Give him room 16. Please give Monsieur Poirot room 16. It is taken, mademoiselle. But number 16 is always kept in reserve for such emergencies. Nevertheless, tonight it is occupied by an American gentleman, uh, a Monsieur Hardman. He does not sound like Mr. someone Hardman. to be trifled with. <laughs> Good day, Monsieur. Mr. Hardman. We gotta go find Mr. Hardman. Huh. And has a solution. All right, we have to go help. We ha we're the one who's helping the helper. Mr. Poirot must share a room with Mr. McQueen. Let's make sure he's comfortable in the salon car. I'm sure Mr. Olsen won't mind Mr. Poirot for one night. Give Mr. Poirot my room. I'll go in the salon car. Yeah. Give Monsieur Poirot my room. I will Hard be quite comfortable in the salon car. Mademoiselle Poirot, he will not hear of such a thing. I insist. I will not compromise the hospitality of the train. Oh, if I must turn you out, why then you will stay in the room of Miss Olsen. I am sure she will not mind when she learns of your sacrifice. What is the freight no, really, it isn't French necessary. detective? No. Poirot has spoken. The matter will be settled. I will speak to the lady at once. How does the great French detective not know how to buy a ticket for a train? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Poirot, get it together. You buy a ticket for a train. What are you thinking? Poirot, Poirot is a grifter just trying to get a free ride. Whoa, look at those gra- Whoa, look at that smoke. Damn. Oh! Wow. Whoa! It's like a real train. Wow, how did they do this? Da, 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 da. Murder on the Orient Express. Murder on the Orient Express. Murder. Whoa! Is this vi is this real or is this real video or is this 3D? Whoa! Loin of this, leg of that. I am not eating the flesh of the animals. In America, if it has fur, we either eat it or wear it. As my daughter always says, there's a lot America could teach people in other hey, countries. Sublime mind. If they'd only wake up and listen. For the murder? She says one day you'll be able to go into a restaurant in Istanbul and order a hamburger. What do you think of that? Why would you want to do such a thing? Why? Everybody wants a taste of home. I expect the Turks would agree with you. Exactly. That's what my daughter says. It's only a matter of time and Turks will love hamburgers. You will be sufficiently this is what riding a train is like? Place in my compartment a bottle of mineral water. You meet people and gotta talk to people Certainly that you don't like? Agency. For dinner, I shall have chicken cooked without sauces. Also, some boiled fish. Boiled fish? I am very sorry, Your Excellency. There is no chicken or fish on the menu. Oh. Is he chef for this journey? The German. We, oui, your highness. Oil the cooking fish? of Monsieur Klaus is admired all over Europe. It is a good that the train has secured. You could have fish cooked anyway. No doubt. Yeah, boiled. Very well, I will have lamb. Again, without sauces. You've got to put it over big, whatever yourself. Sure, well, better call salt. all the time. With motor cars, hey, it is hey, no milk man. This steak is excellent. The pork is also very nice. Say, we haven't been introduced. That is very true. We haven't. You are not okay. eating. I haven't much appetite this evening. <laughs> How could I be so lucky to have found you? You found me. The vegetarian? <laughs> Only after I chased you across three continents. The statues in the baggage car? Yes. I saw them loading the crate myself. They were very careful. Huh. They better be. If it's damaged, I might enjoy owning a railroad. Who knows? Rich guy. You travel often by train in your profession, mademoiselle? Yes, I do. You are a person most fortunate. I'd rather fly. Ah, oh, mais non. Not for me are the aeroplanes, with their sudden changes of altitude, and the capricious tossing about of the passengers by the weather très mauvais. Non. In business, speed is often more back important then? than comfort. 
Now it is more than the comfort. The French, they lend themselves to the romance and the intrigue. All about us are people of all classes, of all nationalities, of all ages. They sleep and eat under one roof. They cannot get away from one another. And at the end of the three days, they pass. They go their several ways, never perhaps to see each other again. They had planes in 19, whatever this is. The skilled detective has the chance to study his fellow travelers, to watch their little stories unfold beneath the microscope of the train. Big Uncle Dan. Tell me what you see. You as well, mademoiselle. We will make the little game of it, n'est-ce pas? Hey, I. You order a hot dog on a train? I'll order a hot dog wherever they're they're selling it. Hot dog is one of the best delicacies we have in the one United look, States. One must listen at all times. If you were to listen at the door of any compartment, who knows what you may learn? Yeah. That would not be very proper, Monsieur Poirot. What's he eating here? Proper? The student of crime must also be the student of human nature. Oh, what better way to make the study? Huh? I will illustrate. Mademoiselle Marceau, you are facing the entire car, whereas Poirot, he sits with his back to most and has only observed upon entering. Start with the table farthest away, the three ladies. Tell me about them. So we're like a student of Poirot here. Okay, that's kind of cool. And they probably changed the story from the book like they did with the other game. Hey, Drew, this is the voice of, yeah, David Suchet. Mm hmm. David Suchet playing the famous French detective, uh, Monsieur Hercules Poirot. Monsieur, right? Is his first name? One is a Swedish missionary from a school Which one's near Vicky? This one? on the Bosporus. She is also very uncomfortable in unfamiliar surroundings and gets lost easily. This one, yeah. That is truly wonderful. How did you arrive at this? I helped her find the train inside the train station. Okay. Well, it is an important lesson then. When you know the facts, why bother with your clues? The younger woman is British from her accent. She seems very capable and down to earth. If we'd been at school together, yeah, I believe this? we would have been friends. Wait. Meet She has a strong character, that one. Meet Perhaps the strongest among us. But she is a mystery nonetheless. Why okay, do you say that? Go over every character. You observed her embrace of the most passionate kind? With a proper English gentleman this afternoon? Yes, I did. Very un-English of both of them. As you say. And yet now she sits at another table, indifferent to him and his glances. Lovers quarrel? Mm. What can have happened in so short a time for the lovebirds to fly from the light into the darkness? The older woman Any with the loud voice is American. It's Even with the length of the car between us, one can tell that. Wait, it is true what you say. This mess and on yet, these plates. She seems to be a woman quite amiable and without malice. A good beginning. And what is there to say about the town? Oh boy, British we're going gentleman? over every single character here. <laughs> uh, hey, Featherfall. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, the other game was really dialogue and text heavy in the beginning, too. Belgian? No, he's French, Judith. Yeah. He's a French detective. Because he speaks French. So. You know, pretty obvious that he's French. Hey, catch a big fish. He has spent much time in the tropics. Wait, some far flung corner of the Oui. British Empire. Fr Fr that's India, French. Perhaps. Oui, it's French. Military. See, he just said oui. Military, I would say, from the way he carries himself. Very good. French. He's not as proper as he looks. For he is so in love, it breaks down all the inhibitions. They are married, but not to one another. What did she say to him? Huh? Not now. Not now. When it is behind us, then. They are waiting for the divorce to be final. Ah. Perhaps. Dan, military, a posting in Egypt, perhaps, or India. And now the grand lady who sits alone. Ooh. I'd say royalty, a princess. Russian, probably. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you will not play the same trick on Poirot twice. Hello, she too, you have met? I did a small service for her earlier today. Your Poirot's getting pissed at her. She has a very <laughs> grim exterior, that one. But there is something about her, huh? A twinkle in the eye, perhaps? No, no. I think she is not quite so much the dragon as she appears. Hello. And the That's French. Allures. Hildegard Schmidt, 
Yes, I met her too. We met them all. Quite unpleasant <laughs> for a lady's maid. They were but in our way. Such mild creatures. Vraiment. She French. also has sent a plate back to the chef twice for adjustments. Very particular about the cuisine. It would be nice if the menu was more varied. We oui, must. Yeah, like if they had boiled fish. This large table nearest the kitchen now. We just three gentlemen. What can you see? Okay. Yeah, if he's Belgian, why isn't he speaking Belgian? And where are his waffles? There are none. Hey, Galaxy, he's clearly French. He's speaking French, French, French. No waffles. He's not speaking Belgian. He's speaking French. And... Obviously, he's French. Thank you. Okay. My way. The Englishman. The Englishman is very quiet. He this certainly guy? does not share the enthusiasm for conversation of his companions. A superior sort with a disapproving expression. Does that suggest nothing to you? I'm afraid not. A gentleman's gentleman, as the British would say. But a what? valet. Yes, I can see him pressing trousers and shining shoes. I like how we're getting character analysis from uh, Hoy Rat here. Oh, that's cool. Yo, Bitterman, what's up? How you doing? Thanks for the raid. What's up? Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bitterman. Hey, everyone else. I uh, welcome in. We're playing Murder on the Orient Express, starring famous French detective, uh, Monsieur Hercules Poirot. Make you up when the murder starts? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. If you're in murder fans, any murder fans that came in in the Bitterman raid, Bitterman's great if you guys know Bitterman. Bitterman also streams. That's why he raided us, because he's a streamer. Murder fans, just close your eyes for a little bit, and I'll yell really loud into the mic when a murder happens, okay? But we gotta, we, but right now, Poirot fans are, are loving this because Poirot is doing character analysis, and we're learning about all the characters on the train who may be, and we have, we, I wonder if we're gonna have to figure out who committed a murder, a murder later. How you doing, Bitterman? What was Bitterman up to today? More Grand Theft Auto? That's the last stream I saw of Bitterman playing Grand Theft Auto 1. PS1. Hey, Bobby. Draconic board game. True Tone. Beans. Hey, hey Bitterman. Thanks for the raid. What were you playing today? The Italian sells motor cars. Like He's very enthusiastic about cars Thank you, in True general. Tone. Wait. A salesman to his very soul, I would say. The American appears <laughs> to be a commercial traveler of some sort. Wait. He carried the sample Wait. case when he boarded the train. Wait. Yet, I wonder. Wait. The case, it was quite small. Uh, yet he seems very fit, does he not? Small case. The suit of such questionable taste, he can barely contain the muscles. Can't okay. a commercial traveler be athletic? Very. C'est possible. Mm. And now, as discreetly as possible, observe the young couple directly behind me. Small case. You're here for this? Catch a big fish, kid. Is this the new one then, the Renan? This is Murder Under the Orient Express is what this is. Murder Under the Orient Express. Her dress is very exquisite, expensive, and the jewels. The man is handsome. The man is very handsome. These two. Aristocratic. Eaten, whatever that is. He as an Englishman. Spam. But his accent is Hungarian, Meat love, I think. spam, sausage. Oui, a diplomat, I believe. Oui. Fiercely in love. Fiercely? The man who makes the unwanted advances to his young wife would suffer for it. Mm. Her dress is exquisite, very expensive, and the jewels. Oh, she's lovely. The kind boing, of woman a man boing. would marry and lavish gifts upon. Uh -huh. It Why? is very romantic, is it not? And yet I detect the melancholy in your voice, mademoiselle. I'm sorry. I expect it's jealousy. I grew up in Jukar, a small town near Avignon. My parents wanted me to stay in Jukar and marry well, but I rebelled. Why? Ah. Have uh, you never rebelled, Monsieur Poirot? These days, not so much, I fear. Rebellion, it is for the young. Why? I went to England, too, to university, then out here to Istanbul. I wanted to get as far away from Jukar as I could. I wanted mystery, adventure, romance. I became a clerk. No mystery, no adventure, and certainly no time for romance. Poirot is not so much the expert on romance. No. Yet mystery and adventure may be closer than you think. What, he's and predicting now, a murder? To the last <laughs> table, where the older gentleman has been glancing this way throughout dinner. 
So there must be a reason why he said he had to get on this train. Does he know what's going to happen? Hey, Heem, you were playing KOTOR. Oh, nice. I've been meaning to replay that as well. KOTOR's a good time. Did you have a good time with it, Bidama? What's up, Heem? What's up, Malio? No one's eating their weird loaves and smashed potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah, I, I prefer... I prefer raw meat softened by, by cold water. The colder, the better. It has to be just 33 degree water. Uh, okay. Who are these people? So, we're just learning about all the characters and ch hanging out with Boy Rat right now. The older man's name is Ratchet. Rich guy an and American. his Very son. Very and brutish despite the fine clothes and table manners. He forced his attentions on Where? me in the bazaar today. I think he's been trying to renew the attempt all through dinner. He keeps looking this way. Putin. <laughs> see the smiling round face uh, with the pink anyway, cheeks sorry. and the brilliantly white teeth that are false and say, there sits a benevolent personality indeed. Well, can we pause? Drew Tone, thank you so much for the gift sub. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by uh, Poirot's beautiful face, visage, and Galaxy Ghoul, thank you for the gift sub too. Thanks for those gift subs. There is no smile in his eyes. Wait. No, there is a dark fever in them. Not a benevolent man. Can you Not just pause it by clicking outside? Not a benevolent man. Not. No. There is a dark fever in them. Oh, just reset. Just says it man. again. Not a nice. The younger oh, crap, American I skipped man it. is named Hector something. I like him. He seems very open and pleasant. He's Mr. Ratchet's secretary, I believe. But I don't think he's very happy in the position. Mm. I agree. An acquaintance <laughs> worth cultivating for an attractive young lady traveling alone. Monsieur Poirot, I would never be so forward. Oh, but it is 1934, mademoiselle. Young ladies are forward. Even those from Juca? Hector, I'm not having this. Right. What's that I say? I might try the... You Freud? go get started on those letters I dictated. It's on the wall. But I... Window. Yes, I'm sir. I'm going to keep this portrait of Angelina. I think I have the pleasure of speaking to Monsieur Hercule Poirot. Oh, he says it we're almost as bad as me. You have been correctly informed, monsieur. My name's Ratchet. In my country, we come to the point quickly. Mr. Poirot, I want you to take on a job for me. It means big money. Big money. I'm a rich man. Rich men have enemies. I have an enemy. Why did it say Freud enemy? on the window? That was weird. Just what do you mean by that? Monsieur, in my experience, when a man he is in a position to have, as you say, the enemies, then it does not usually resolve itself into one enemy alone. So you're gonna get I killed? appreciate your point. Enemy or enemies, it doesn't matter. Hercules. What matters is my safety. My life has been threatened, Monsieur Poirot. I'm used to taking pretty good care of myself. I'm not the kind of man to be caught napping, but you'll be extra insurance. I regret, Monsieur. I cannot oblige you. Name your price. I have been very fortunate in my profession, monsieur. I have made enough money to satisfy both my needs and my caprices. I take now only such cases as interest me. Is that so? What's wrong with my proposition? If you will forgive me for being personal, I do not like your face, monsieur <laughs> <Ratchet>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like your face, Mitch. <laughs> Yo, um, Smoom, thanks so much for the 11 months and zero dime. Thank you for the portrait of Angelina. Thank you very much. Thank you for the bits. I don't like your face. Train company employee. I have checked the baggage car for the supplies I ordered to be delivered Wait. here in Belgrade. No. There is no bacon. I will not make a breakfast tomorrow without the bacon. You will have my reputation is at stake. I wasn't Find looking at my stuff, bacon, Mithra. I leave the train here and you can cook all the meals yourself. Oh, is that you, Dolphin? Train company Worry employee. about your own business. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to look around. Absolute crap. Mithril, thank you for the... I wasn't looking at your stuff. Thank you for Belgrade. the bits. Belgrade. This will be a brief stop to take on supplies, mail, and to add the Athens-Paris coach. There will be few, if any, passengers in this weather. Okay, a supply stop. I'll worry about my business. Thank you, Mithril. Thanks for those bits. But I wasn't looking at your sub. Toasted Post, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the eight months. Thank you. 
Uh, I was gonna suck to say thank you. In the book, Poi rots on the train to help in the city of destination. He doesn't know anything about the train. Okay. Madagon, thanks for the balls, duh. Way. <laughs> yeah, I like how you pronounce Poirot really bad. Ms. your boy, poo poo, Poirot. <laughs> how you doing, uh, Luna? Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Okay. So now we're at a supply stop. This one's, uh. Okay. Supplies. Yeah, I, I have very bad comprehension when it comes to, like, them just having, like, a conversation. Do we have all the people, like, on the inside cover like we did before? Like, I'm not going to remember all that stuff. But it is kind of a cool way to do it for people that do remember everything that Poirot said. Looks like the manual on the... I mean, the, the box... Oh, maybe in the manual. Let me see if I can find the manual. So I can remember who all the characters are. On the Orient Express manual. Maybe I'll have them in the manual. Uh, no, I can't find it. We'll be fine. Oh, Zerodyne, thank you for the balls, duh. For the balls, duh. I'm gonna not keep this portrait up. of Angelina. Anna, thank you for the portrait of Angelina. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, okay, we're fine. Oh, a guy running back to the train. Quite interesting. Oh, man, someone running back to the train. I'm gonna keep this portrait of Angelina. Yeah, that's a cool way to do it, with a conversation with uh, French Detective Poirot. Junker, thank you for the portrait of Angelina. You're close to Belgrade, Judith? Really? You ever been on the Orient Express? Do they still have an Orient Express, or is that like... Do they still have that? Venice Simplon, Orient Express, et bien mon train. Belmont et un Belmont train. A legend back on track. Ignite the romance of the rails and embark on a legendary journey as the Venice Simplon Orient Express returns to the tracks. Look at this, huh? Here it is. That looks cool. Anybody want to go on the Orient Express with me? But you may not look at me. You may not talk to me. You have to stay at least 20 feet away from me. But if you want to go on a train trip, let me know. Okay, sorry. Here they go. Back to the game. London to Venice is 3K. 3K, schmeek. 3K, schmeek. Okay. That's nothing to a Twitch streamer. Belgrade Station. Not quite the splendor of Sakeki, but Belgrade. it is practical and serves its purpose well. Okay, so someone just ran back to the train. That's not a good sign. Oh, are you not cold? Get some sweatpants, lady. Seems like a great time. COVID too. What's uh what's COVID, Ramos? What is that? Belgrade Station. Not quite the splendor of Sakeki, but I already said it already. The fountain looks rather forlorn. This is Rich Guy and who who's this guy again? Who's the guy he was with? Is there gonna be murdering? I think soon, Sapolinas. Murder fans, get ready. Bloody awful weather. The train better get moving soon. The passes west of here fill with snow pretty fast. Back in 29, there was a train trapped up there for a week. American. Okay, so the Colonel and McQueen. Ah, Colonel Arbuthnot, isn't it? And Mr. Oh, these McQueen. Are That's not the rich guy. That's right. Say, you're the company representative, aren't you? He's the Colonel? I heard there was one on the train. Or he's the McQueen. Okay, that's the Colonel on the left and McQueen. See, it has this, but it doesn't have like the other side. It doesn't have the other inside cover. That's how I that's how I was keeping uh, them straight in the uh, in the other game. Yeah, it only has it only has these people. Inside cover right. Do we have the other part somewhere else? No. Oh wait, maybe here. The German one. No. Alright, that's alright. Anyone, anyone? Is there anyone in the station? Only people we've seen were an attendant and a passenger, I think. They boarded that coach they're adding to the train. Then somebody turned out the station lights. It's the Athens Paris coach, I think. Mr. Ratchet and I travel this route quite a bit. Yes, well, I have all the fresh air I need, if you'll excuse me. Train I'll can be, be getting along fun. then too. Don't want to hold us up. If you stopped a lot. A train ride a train ride would be fun. 
I guess it's nice to just like it's more relaxing than like a plane. A plane is stressful because you could fall out of the air at any moment. Train ride could be fun. But I'd want to stop on the Orient Hyperloop. You'll go if you get murdered. Alright, we can do that. Oh, Zeppelinus wants to, there to be a murder. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe one of you guys could murder each other. I'm not really into murdering people. Not anymore. The architecture of the station is unremarkable, she says. Man, look at this realistic snow on the ground. Oh, this is her run. You can walk, and she can run, too. <laughs> oh, she has boots on. Okay, I thought she had, like, bare legs. She at least has boots. Is that a rat? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh How was this game? We just started. I'm not sure. We played the previous game. And then there were none, and it was it was pretty good, but it was you had to r walk, randomly wander around like seventy five percent of the game to complete it. But other than that, it was good. This one seems like technically more capable so far, but we'll see. We really just started it, and we haven't done anything other than do the intro. So I'm not sure. This is still the intro to the game. There hasn't even been the murder yet. There hasn't even been the murder yet. You love trains? This is really... our company representative from Istanbul? A woman? Mademoiselle Marceau, this is Tayyip, our engineer. Uh... I only... The only trains I ever rode was like, subway and stuff like that, or like trains, like, you know, regional trains. I've ever taken a long train ride. Are you ready to go? I am been ready. I am not the slow one here. It is the Serbs. Can we reach Broad in this weather? Well, if any engine can get us through, it will be this four six zero. I Got suppose I'll candy. have to take responsibility if we go on. Company representative and a woman? No, this is my train, my decision. We go. 1930s. They didn't like women back then. Okay. Klaus is missing a side of bacon. He told me. I showed him the manifest. It was not on the Athens Paris car. Train management simulator now? No one's gonna kill you, Gregory. What is the report from the station master? It is not good, I'm afraid. Heavy snow is forecast for the mountains. The passes between Vancouver and Broad will fill up quickly. With snow? Get bacon for the chef. <laughs> How many passengers joined us here in Belgrade? Only one. A uh, Greek doctor, I believe. I think I saw the Athens Paris coach attendant board the restaurant car just now. Yeah. Really? He should be back in the Athens Paris coach. Au revoir, monsieur. Yeah, there was someone that boarded the train, eh? but it, I guess it's the murderer. Okay. What about you? I will talk. Okay. Alright, so yeah, they don't like women. Not in, not in women, not into women. They didn't like women, how did they make babies? I think that's all they liked women for. Your dad used to work on trains, so he loves trains. What do he do on trains? If only I spoke Serbian. Was he the guy that yelled chugga chugga choo choo out the window? Serbian, I suppose. It would have to be Serbian. So yeah, we're just getting into the part where we actually play. We haven't really... Up to this point, it hasn't actually been playing. Antoinette, you're in Belgrade. You can't read these tags. Uh, on the question earlier about Last Express, yeah, we're gonna play Last Express, but I have to get that set up. If only first. I spoke Serbian. I don't know if that's a game that would just play for streaming right, right away, but I knew this one worked, so we might play all three of these back to back. Let's we'll see how this one treats us. The next one, you straight up play as. Um, Monsieur Hercules Poirot, the whole time. Evil Under the Sun. What's the deal with Evil Under the Sun? Evil Under the Sun. You play as Hercules Poirot. And I get the Christie Evil Under the Sun. Oh, here. You step into the shoes of one of Agatha Christie's most illustrious characters, Hercules Poirot. It's loosely based on the book. Same deal, same deal if you read the book. Uh, recounting his most recent case to Hastings, Poirot tells him what took place while he vacationed at a resort on Sea Drift Island. Okay, that's all I want to see. Now, why is my uh, why is my web browser freezing? 
sometimes. It's weird. And yeah, in this one you play as Hercules Poirot. Looks looks like the same graphics as this game. The engineer and fireman are keeping the steam well up. So we'll probably we'll probably play something else before Eva under the sun. What's the deal? What's going on over here? He was an a track engineer. Oh, okay. Antoinette, Serbian. Antoinette, Serbian. He, and he yelled chugga chugga choo choo out the window. <laughs> All aboard! The attendant I saw boarding the restaurant car came through this gate. Yeah. And that woman was seeing him off, so there was a mysterious hooded woman seeing off a dude that ran. The attendant I ran on the train, but he went into the wrong area. Suspicious. Suspicious. Yeah, I guess we should have played Outer Wilds, but uh, it's too late. We already started this. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. It's a good book, this book. It's a good book, this book. Last Express is fun. Anna, yeah. This game runs natively. Yeah, yeah, it runs fine. Just throw it in DX Wind and it's windowed for the stream. The first menu in 1882 was oysters, soup with Italian pasta, Turbot with green sauce. What's turbot? Chicken a la chasseur. Fil fillet of beef with chateau potatoes. What's turbot? It's a fish. Is that boiled fish? Okay. Turbot with green sauce. What's the what's, architecture? What's green about it? Frog sauce. Shell fraud of game animals. Lettuce, chocolate pudding, and buffet dessert. That sounds pretty good, actually. That doesn't sound that weird. For something that's uh, over a hundred years, you know, hundred fifty years. I am the real Tom. Uh huh. This I'm not wearing a black shirt. Lettuce is for nerds. <laughs> yes, I'll have the lettuce. <laughs> what do you have, the lettuce? Mm. All right, we're Antoinette, done. Antoinette, you are. Look for Klaus's bacon. Oh, we literally have to get Klaus's bacon. I made a joke. I was joking about that. <laughs> We have to get Klaus's bacon. The attend. Okay. Uh, is is this where the bacon is? Is it here? Antoinette. You can't read these tags. True crime stories, timetable, maps. Play manifest. Dinner. The part Istanbul dinner. True crime stories. Oh, these are all the other stories about Poirot from Poirot. Maps. Play manifest. Alright, these are all the people. Cool. Train plan. This is the all the cars. Train route. Goes from Istanbul to Sofia, Belgrade. Ving or Belgrade now. Vinkochvici. Trieste, Venice, Milan, Parice. I'm going to Parice. Okay. Uh It is frost. Okay, I can't read it. I can't read it. So I gotta talk to someone who can read it. One of these guys can read it, right? Is Thomasina still visiting? No, she left. Do you speak Serbian? I am a Turk. Why would I speak Serbian? This guy? Can you read Serbian? You gotta get the bacon. A little. The manifests from Belgrade are in Serbian. Could you read some tags on the Prague luggage yep, truck? there's the regret. Me? There's the regret. Yes, of course. I don't have any regret. Alright, read the tags. Please, for Okay, she's gonna read the tags for me. Yo, let's go. I gotta get bacon. That appears to be a box of golf ball. That is, I believe, toilet paper. Slanina. We have found Klaus's bank at my- Yes! Will you take it to him so Sorry we can yelling. get underway? At once. All right, we're the, we're the boss bitch of this train. Sorry, Junker, Thomasina left. Sorry. Do I have 25 items yet that we never use in the whole game? No. Luckily, we just have one item, a rip ticket. I do not protest the addition of you in my room, miss. You have helped me, and I am glad of the company, and I am a Christian lady whose heart is filled with charity. Fine, that's settled then. Thanks. But I have already been picking out the lower bunk for me, because... I am afraid of the heights and the sudden stops of trains, and I would not like to return to the children broken. 
The upper bunk will do fine for me. I'll look forward to the adventure. And now, miss, excuse me, please. I will go to the WC, as you call it. All right, enjoy your crap. I was educated in England, but I'm French. Oh, I was educated in Sweden, and I'm Swedish. <laughs> you call it the toilet? Am I going to the toilet? <laughs> Mademoiselle Olsen, how you spend the next few minutes of your life is entirely your own private affair. <laughs> well, is it the toilet or yeah, not? Okay, I'm going to go take a giant shit now. I right, found the bacon. That whole scene was about her not One knowing what a toilet is. One must listen Thank you for the poop. All times. If you were to listen at the door of any compartment, who knows what you may learn. <laughs> so. I'm still not sure I agree in principle, but perhaps I'd best give it a go. <laughs> so Poirot just encouraged her to spy on everyone. Oh, we can teleport between cars too. But what's this? Oh, the menu. Okay. I got supplies to so save. So you can teleport between cars, and that's my inventory, and documents, and IDs, okay. Born in 1908, 1908. What's it called, the toilet? I have to go take a how you say. We're just gonna listen on everyone. Um, Junker, thanks for the poo. Thanks for the, thanks for the beavis poop. Yeah, Thomasina left. Just kidding, I'm still here and love these adventure games. The Tom plays and he's such a great streamer. I love watching him stream. My brother's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thomasina, that's my sister. She embarrasses me. She embarrasses me. Uh, okay. So we're just going to listen in at Schmidt and Debenham. I can't hear through this wood. I'll need something to help me. Can't hear through the wood, huh? All right, we're finally doing the train thing. Oh, let's go into Poirot's room. I can't hear through this wall. Okay, we need a glass. We need to find something. Wow, we're gonna have to listen on at, at every single. Can't hear. Hard, who's this hard man? I can't. Can't hear through this wood. This is that. Pardon room. me, Mademoiselle Marceau. Can we speak at another time? That's the nice guy. We go in here, the WC. Oh, wasn't the lady supposed to be in here? I cannot take these towels. Hey, Nathan they are Pockets. too fine a quality to waste on detective work. There must be something else I can use. Yeah, we we finished it about an hour ago, I think. Nathan. Yeah, we can teleport. Thank God. Okay, well, I'm going to go to Le Poupou. Going to do Le Poupou now. Uh, it's weird that she's like do it being a detective when there's nothing wrong, but that's fine. Oh my, I am looking quite haggard. Detective work and cold weather wreaks havoc on the skin. She's a fangirl of Poirot, but she's supposed to be managing the train, and she instead she's spying on all the passengers. I cannot take the for no reason. Quite modern. Uh, modern toilet. Right, so we need to go find a glass so we can spy on the door to the so we can spy on people for no reason. There's no there's no crime been committed yet. Well, we're just gonna listen on everyone's room. <laughs> no more Thomasina. Oh, well that's gonna be it for her. Can't let her steal the show. Is this another bathroom? This door is tightly locked. That's where the lady is. The door is a full Thomasina stream. Use that filter that makes you look like a girl. You guys are now Thomasina Sims. These etchings. Simpsons. The decor. Do, 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 do I know who Henry Rollins is? Yes, I do. Cause I'm a liar, a freaking liar. I know Henry Rollins. That's his song. It's called Liar. All right, get one of these glasses. Which one can we take? Take, 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 take. I'll just take four glass. Take five glasses and some tongs. And looks good. And some tape. And some napkins. Oh damn! Hell yeah! There we go. All right. Finally, finally, we're doing what we were meant to do. Pick up a million items that we won't even use. All right. We got tongs, napkins. You can zoom in on it. Flip it over. 
Can't imagine needing this much, she says. Zoom in on these glasses. Look, it's a dancing glass. Who is the killer? Uh, the in the game it was um, Nathan. In the game, the game version that they changed it was the religious lady. She faked her death with the bee stings, and she was doing it to torture the judge, who had sentenced her lover to prison for no reason. Uh, but the true ending is that it was the judge who faked his death in the book and then went killing everybody um, out of his own sense of justice. It lets you do the, the, the real ending after. Snappy kinnies, snappy kins, glasses, anything else? This bouquet is beautiful. Weird. Just pick up eight, five glasses. Do it in Swedish? I wasn't even trying to do Swedish. I would expect nothing. My bum is on the Swedish. I would expect. Restaurant car. Let's look around some more. Hey, Mudmore. The door um, is. Is Poirot in this? Is, you mean the famous French detective Poirot? Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. We we were hanging out with him earlier. But you play as a a character that they added for the book, that is like Poirot's <laughs> Poirot Poirot fan, a Poirot fan. She's a Poirot fan. Oh, okay. This door. Okay. A Poirot fan. All right. So we use the glass to listen in on Masterman and Foscarelli. That guy is the most stuck-up human being I've ever met, even for an Englishman. Rachetze Valet? Yeah, master. Glad I'm not traveling in the same room with him. Oh, I like everybody. Is she keeping and those? Him, <laughs> he is as quiet as a little mouse. You're welcome to him. That's my view. Deal the cards. Well, if it's anything like uh, the first game, this game does not care about where she's keeping the items. Because the first guy was carrying like a bucket, a shovel, a ladder, tons and tons of things. It wasn't concerned about that at all. Let me just look for this one more time. Murder on the Orient Express PC. Manual. Manual. Can we find the manual for this game? I feel like I have this game somewhere. Can't can't find the manual. It's probably got to be somewhere though. All right, let's. Do we have to listen in at all these doors to, to discover something about these passengers. The Queen. Who's the rich Good guy? Look here, Colonel. Your policy in India is obviously self-defeating. You can't keep it as a colony forever, you know. I don't see why not. You probably wouldn't have seen why not back in 1776, but America is free as a bird now. And suffering through one of the worst economic depressions in history, I believe. You're not seriously suggesting that if the United States had remained a colony of England, we could have avoided a depression? I don't see why not. I just need like a little synopsis of all the characters, make it a, a little bit easier to keep track of it all. Hey, F LCO, Bitterman, you like that? Here, do a little more. Dancing glass. Hey, F LCO, hey, let's do some LP. Okay, so that was the Colonel and that uh, that other American guy who I forget who he is. I don't I don't remember who these two characters were either. Schmidt and Debenham. It's completely quiet in there. What? <gasps> Murder! I think I... There's Dad! That's our room. This is Poirot's room! I can't hear anything. Mm. Maybe Poirot's been killed. That would be cool if Poirot is the one that, that gets killed in this in this game. Hope she hears someone say, I can't believe I just murdered someone with this knife. That would be good, Uagos. It just ends right there. It's a quick Not game. Not a sound. Okay, good. This is easy. I can do this. Just to keep all the items in the same place. Oh, the headhunter guy. <laughs> oh, Rudolph. It is a nightmare. I killed someone. I know how hard all of this is. This is the two lovers. The only good thing about nightmares is that eventually we wake up. Okay. Will you help me to be strong? You are stronger than I, dearest. You have been through so much more. My love, my love, my love. 
Okay, so that's the lover. So the girl has been through a lot and is going through something really bad. And he's being supportive of her. And this is the uh, Russian princess. Mr. Snagsby is dismayed to see, standing with an attentive face between himself and the lawyer at a little distance from the table, a person with a hat and a stick in his hand who was not there when he himself came in and has not since entered by the door or by either of the windows. Yet this third person stands there with his attentive face and his hat and his stick in his hands and his hands behind him, a composed and quiet listener. He is a stoutly built, steady-looking, sharp-eyed man in black of about middle age. Except that he looks at Mr. Snagsby as if he were going to take his portrait. There is nothing remarkable about him at first sight but his ghostly manner of appearing. Enough. What is she talking about? Detectives oh. are not so superhuman as Mr. Dickens suggests. They are as human as you or I. Now, I will rest for a short while. What is she talking about? Yes, Your Excellency. Oh, she was saying something weird to the princess. It was the other lady saying something weird to the princess. Things are not looking good for the shovel fans, but maybe we'll get a shovel, Cephalinis. You never know. Uh, oh, there's two. Which one did I listen in on? I think I've heard. I didn't listen in on... Oh, Count and Countess. Okay. Oh, I can listen in on her door. I can't hear anything. Okay, because she's not in there, because she's in his room. All right, Princess Drag, and this is the Colonel. Okay. Real murder would be a good story if they don't do it right. Not a sound. I think I missed some doors. I thought they were... Let me see if I missed some doors. Hubbard and... Okay, hold on. I was only... I thought the double doors was one door. That's... I, I think I've heard. Let me make sure we... Let's listen in on every door. Whatever you're reading appears to distress you. It doesn't matter. Ratchet. See, so yeah, I just need like a synopsis of these characters to keep them straight. Let me see if I can find one. Murder on the Orient Express PC Game Manual. I'm just look at the FAQ page, maybe. Not eBay. Game Boomers. Maybe it'll have a. No, I need like a synopsis of the characters. The FAQ, maybe the FAQ has it, has one. Just a synopsis, so I know which. Okay, here, this will work. All right. I think I've heard. Of okay, so Ratchet is the American. Okay. Never mind, that just spoiled something. <laughs> okay, this would be good, other than what just got spoiled. That's okay. All right, Poirot, I know who he is. Uh, Olsen and Marceau. Olsen. Olsen is the Swedish orphanage missionary. <laughs> That's okay, it's not that big of a deal. Something just got spoiled, though. Schmidt and Debenham. Schmidt is a German ladies' maid to Princess Dag Dragomirov. And Debenham is... English governess between jobs on her way home. McQueen is the American oil broker turned secretary to Mr. Ratchet. Okay. Masterman and Foscarelli. Foscarelli is a natural American car salesman. Foscarelli is the car salesman. Masterman is that guy from Doctor Who. Masterman is an English valet to Mr. Ratchet. Okay. Yeah, separate glass for each door. Yeah. Uh, and the Count and the Countess. They're Hungarian diplomats. Princess Dragomir Moff, like a Russian princess living in pa uh, Paris. Our Butnot is the Colonel, because I can't forget that name. English military stationed in India. Did we listen at his door yet? I think I've heard. Okay. And Hardman. What's the deal with Hardman? American typewriter ribbon salesman. Hard man. It's completely quiet in there. <laughs> and this guy's just watching <clears throat> us do this. <laughs> Mademoiselle, what are you doing? Oh, we got Michelle, caught. Michelle, you startled me. I'm testing. 
Monsieur Boost tells me there have been complaints from passengers that the compartments are not as soundproof as they might be, Ooh, so good. I am testing to see if improvements can be made. You are certainly being very thorough, mademoiselle. Yeah, um, this FAQ, at the very beginning it's like, cast of characters, and it, as you read it, it spoils aspects of the game, but it helps me keep it straight, so whatever. It spoiled something else too, but it doesn't matter that much. That, but that's, that's not ideal. You don't want to spoil the game right at the beginning of your FAQ. When you're just looking at the cast of characters. It's okay. Listen, FAQ. Don't back see. Come on, FAQ. I just wanted to get a synopsis of the characters, that's all. Let me go talk to Herco Hercules? Or, can, or should we go to sleep now? Talk I think I've... Listening on, on, listening on Hercules over here. Let's go back in our room. Hard man. <laughs> oh, the guy from Mega Man. Mega Man fan. Oh, this is our... Oh, yo. Hello, Greta. Where have you been? I am giving the, the local, it's not the express. The American lady, Mrs. Hoppert. I do not think travel is suiting her the way it does you and I miss. Miss Hubbard has a headache. Headache powder? Headache powder? What do you do with headache powder? Throw it, <laughs> rub it on your head? Oh yeah, he's a Mega Man boss. Okay, hey, some guy in a hat. Hey, karate. Yeah, hard man. What did it spoil? Who the victim was? It spoiled, yeah, it spoiled who the victim is, but we're about to see that soon anyway, right? I would assume. It spoiled the victim. It's probably not that big of a deal. Hard man. I don't think that's something you want to Google. Luckily, all that came up was images of this in the first image. There's hard man. That's the guy from... I don't think you want to Google that, but I took the chance. We were okay. I am taking much comfort from the caring for the poor, lost, orphan children of Turkey. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful for you. How wonderful for you. Oh, you must not trouble yourself with me. I have at last found the place God prepared for me in this world. I am content. Okay, good. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, okay. Hard man kicks ass, does he? He shoots his fist. All right. Well, I'm going out. I'm going in here. Wash, wash. I cannot take these towels. This wash basin is shared by the two connecting rooms. Yeah, thank God there's a robot master. The door Otherwise. is locked. It's not fun. This door. Google, show me hard man. There wasn't actually anything bad in the results. Hey, Amy. Hard man Japan's a different story. Yeah, you mean hard, uh, the other guy? Hard gay, his name's called? Hard gay? Well, I don't think you want to Google that, but it, that would probably also come up with images of, uh, the actual man, the comedian guy. But I'm not going to Google that. I just don't feel like see looking at that right now. I just don't feel like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't... Testing Google is... <laughs> I Testing it a little bit. The decor has a pronounced floral motif. Dun, dun, dun. Great when the walkthrough details the story. Right, yeah, when you want to just know the steps, yeah. Well, I, I appreciate this walkthrough author anyway, even though kind of uh, editorializing. Um, what should I do now? What should I do now? Okay, here we go. We can go to the next car now. I would expect nothing. Let me take. I would expect nothing. Whoops. I would expect nothing. I would expect nothing. And that's what you get. Hey, poetic image. Google, show me hard. Alexa. Show me hard. Hard man. All right, I'm going to Google it because I don't care. Let's see what comes up. Oh, no, it's just all images of the comedian guy. Nice. At least the first three rows is just all images of the comedian guy. This guy. He's okay. He's okay. Hard gay. Yeah, his name is Hard Gay. 
His shock mod. I googled hard gay, and they just showed pictures of him. Hard gay is kind of like a weird... Like, he goes to children's playgrounds and... Hip thru... I don't know. It's a little... A little weird, but a cultural thing. What are you... What is this guy doing? Mysterious... Stranger... I just don't have the appetite right now. What? For ribs? Oh man, I would be chowing on this all the time. I would rip this whole thing to shreds, man. Big old chunks of ham. Very appetite. Oh man, I would be ravenous. Sterling silver. I mean, my ticket price paid for this. I'm gonna eat it. Sterling silver. Ooh! I just don't... Okay, so we take random crap in this game too. What do we just take? A <laughs> take this. Alright. Good. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna take a Bunsen burner. All right. This is nice. So we have to click on every random thing to you see what. You pardon, mademoiselle, but that choice will not gain you a favorable result. <laughs> if you try to use an item where it's not to be used. Oh, mademoiselle, use the little gray cells that Poirot knows that you possess. Huh? Find another solution. <laughs> Poirot scolds you for using the item in the wrong place. He's a wrestler, hard gay. He's a meme. Pretty old. Yo, Kira, thank you for the, uh... Thank you for the angry Lego hair Re. Lego hair Tom Re. Thank you, Kira. Yeah, he's Japanese. He's Japanese. Did I ever watch the movie? This No, and I didn't read the book either. I don't read books, grunt. I don't read books. Hard Gay's married. His name is just Hard Gay. It's his name. Lamal, you have five glasses, yes. <laughs> so I assume this will be... We pick up random crap just like we do in the previous game. We have five glasses. And we'll probably need all of them at some point. Yeah, some carrying on five the door glasses. Is locked. And just like, there's no reason for us to be doing this. N nothing occurred. I, I, guess the, I guess the idea is... Uh, she's like pretending she's playing investigator. Just because she's bored, because Poirot has, has like, uh, jump-started that desire in her. Yeah, that's Lego Hair Re here. It's locked fast. Lego Hair Tom Re. Right to the baggage car. We're following this guy back here. I guess we find a murder. We're gonna find the body now, I think. Oh no! Were you following me, Mademoiselle Marceau? No. No, it was lost. I saw the baggage car was unlocked. That's why I should check. And all the time work for the train, I've never seen the inside of a baggage car. Uh, yes, why are you away from your post in Calais Coach? Yeah, let's scold him. Yes, why are you away from your post in the Calais Coach? I was collecting some biscuits and an extra blanket for Princess Dragomirov. Ah, oh, good. That is the explanation then. Suspicious. May I suggest you return to the Calais Coach, mademoiselle? I'll lock up here. Yes, of course. After Thank finished you. game, watch the movie. Okay. I mean, the game is different than the movie anyway. And and the book, supposedly. Which I do like if they're, if they're making up their own stories. That's pretty cool. Please, mademoiselle. Please return to the Calais. I will see that all is secure here. Please return to the Calais. Please, mademoiselle. You are keeping me from my duties. I'm allowed to do whatever I want, aren't I the manager? Am I the manager? I'm a clerk in Monsieur Book's office. Instructed to see that Hercule Poirot gets back to England. Oh, I thought, so I'm not a train, uh... I'm not a train manager? Please return. Oh, he's making me re so we followed him here. Now's not the time to use that. Does that happen in Pokemon? Sound on me, mademoiselle. They I lock. should return to my sleeping compartment. Lock the car. How come you're not Poirot? We're Poirot's apprentice. We're like a Poirot apprentice. That was a real Rikira. We're like a Poirot apprentice. We're invented for this game. Have you ever seen the movie? Snow, 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 Avalanche of ice. Oh. 
stop the train. First game did it do it pretty well, yeah. First game did a good job of changing the uh, ending. Whether they come up with it or not, it was, whoever did, did a good job. Oh! Stop the train. Stop, stop the train, train. All right, passengers. I'm injured, Schmidt. Get please out your shovels. Stop your fussing. Everyone, please. The pass is blocked with snow. Nothing more. Nothing more, he says. Nothing more? I can tell you there will be plenty more when I get in touch with my attorneys. American trains don't slam on the brakes in the middle of the night. I expect they would if they were about to plow into That's a wall. That's Caroline so. Hubbard, a widow on vacation. I am afraid we may be here for some time. But this has happened before. It happened before, has it? What kind of a way is this to run a railroad, I ask you? At least the worst is over. Yeah, she's the annoying, overbearing widow on vacation. Well, well they gotta shovel the tracks. <gasps> Poirot! Monsieur Poirot, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize for the train company, for Monsieur Boos, and for me personally. Wait, so that's how they Calm change yourself, the story? Mademoiselle Marceau. I hold none of you at fault. Not even the engineer, who undoubtedly saved us from being buried by the avalanche. You have sprained your ankle. <laughs> it is not Poirot who has sprained his ankle, mademoiselle. It is the train who has sprained it. Yeah, the reason I do not yeah, sleep in the, the upper berth is to avoid pain. <laughs> and perhaps I should have slept on the floor. Thank you both for your attention. If you would now please to allow me to suffer alone. If you like. So they make Boiro get fall off his bed and get injured so you have to solve the crime what instead? What can the children of her school be learning? I assume that's how they change the story. Poirot, sorry, Poirot. What? <laughs> Doom. Was that a cry? <laughs> Doom. <laughs> <laughs> they used the doom dying stock sound <laughs> for the person. They couldn't record. They have all this voice in the game. They couldn't record someone going, ah! They had to use the doom stock sound. That doesn't happen in the actual book, right? <laughs> Boy Rat doesn't take a spill and, and, and hurt his ankle. <laughs> snow, 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 snow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that actually Suchet's voice? Yeah, that's what people were saying, even though it sounded a little, like, nasally to me. I haven't watched Boy Rot in a long time. Go to sleep. Go back to sleep, Greta. I'm sure it's nothing. No need to be alarmed. Let me have a look first. There's also, like, a lot of, like, dialogue choices in this as well, which is, this is cool. Let's save over this one again. Finally, some murdered and they had to rip. No, it's just somebody playing Doom. Somebody time traveled back to 1934 with Doom on their laptop. Wanted to ride the uh, Orient Express. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Suchet is expensive. Let's, let's injure him and uh, make this random lady be the character. Okay. The book references Doom, does it? Ah! Yeah, people are saying it's him. Je me suis trompé. Bien, yeah. monsieur. Oh, what is that? Two doors down from... Uh, who is that? Is the drama or calamity? It was Monsieur Ratchet, but he is well. Then let us hurry back to sleep. It was Ratchet? Ratchet's okay? Huh, someone's getting on the train from outside? Wait, which one is Ratchet? The a rich guy? The rich guy? Yeah, it says it on the cover, it's him. It just sounded weird to me. Please do my job for me, I'm so sick. <laughs> Winks at the camera, it takes a well needed rest. Okay, someone is let's let's like tickle her in her sleep or something. Or like, uh, put a bite mark in her arm. There you are. I've been ringing and ringing. Overbury widow. I beg your pardon, madame. Voulez-vous quelque chose? You require? There is a man in my compartment. 
A man? But, madame, as you can see, there is nowhere a man could hide himself. I woke up, and a man was there. I felt it. Mm. You say yourself, madame, that your dog was bolted. How did he enter? Uh, how did he depart? Avalanches! Intruders! What's next? Kira, thank you for the 300. Thank you for the spaceship warlock. Thank you for the 300 bits. Oh yeah, we have a lot. I have to. I keep meaning to add more, but. What now? A man appeared in the apartment, in her compartment, in the widow's compartment, and now we're getting up to investigate. All right, we're gonna go out the door, and something else is gonna happen. Who's three doors down? We'll see. All right, we're gonna. Are we gonna do something now? Redo Rache. All right, he didn't. We heard a glomp, right? Who is that? I should try and figure out who that person in the kimono was before I go back to sleep. The hell's going on here? A lot of weird mysteries. Is there drama or calamity? What? What, Mom? So that was Hubbard? Hubbard? Hubbard's room? Yeah, you're right, 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 right. Okay, there was a man in here. Can we go in? Mademoiselle, please, do not disturb the other passenger. But this guy's suspicious, too. All right, we have to figure out who kimono lady is. Spaceship Warlock. The door is locked. A man is standard for each compartment, man. Yeah, we got a man and ever. That's a mannequin. This door. We got to we got to transport mannequins, so everyone has to sleep with a mannequin in their compartment. Are we supposed to listen at the rooms or talk to this guy? Michelle, who was the woman in the scarlet kimono? I am sorry, Mademoiselle. I was updating the inventory of the Calais coach supplies. I did not see her face. Hmm. Someone in a kimono. I mean, that would probably be the Russian princess. Unless it was someone disguised. What compartment did she come out of? I am not sure. One of the rooms in the middle of the car, I think. Uh, Madame Hubbard's, perhaps, or Monsieur Rachette. Uh, uh, by the time I noticed her, she was moving away from me. Hubbard's the widow, Ratchet is the one that got spoiled. Has anyone been up and about? Only you and the other lady. It has been quiet for some time. Me and the other lady, the uh, widow. Has anything unusual occurred? Well, there was the avalanche, of course. Later, Madame Hubbard insisted she saw a man in her room, uh, but I could find no one. That's Did weird. you hear a thud a moment before I appeared just now? No, I heard nothing, mademoiselle. Perhaps it was in the compartment next to yours, uh, Monsieur Poirot, perhaps. A man in the room, and then he, like, went through real quick. Mr. Poirot's. Okay, we'll go talk to Poirot. Do what Poirot thinks. Hey, Keister. It's a man, baby. Should we go and talk to Poirot? Mademoiselle, please, do not... It's Poirot, it's my friend. I'm allowed to go in here. That isn't good. I confess that your logic, it escapes me. <laughs> I like the Poirot scolding you for the inventory things. Tongs on you door. Tongs on door. Oh, mademoiselle. <laughs> uh, should I just go back to bed then? Or, or should we go talk to Hubbard? Or Ratchet? Because it, it came out of there. One of these cars. Mademoiselle. Maybe I have to distract this guy? Hey, Kalaka boy. Another Poirot adventure, yes. And there's another one after this called Evil Under the Sun, where you actually play as Poirot, the French detective Poirot. Monsieur Hercules Poirot. I am sorry, mademoiselle. Can't go this way? Can I use the bathroom? Wait for this guy to go away? This door is tightly locked. Can we give this guy? Can we tong this guy? Let me in. Mille pardon, mademoiselle, but that choice will not gain you a favorable result. I tong this guy? No good. If there's anything else, uh, perhaps it could wait until more. Thought it was Belgian? No, French. Yeah, Bel uh, Poirot is French. Yeah. I, her her sh her model does look interesting. I mean, it's it's up it's upgraded graphics from the last game, but yeah, look at that back. Look at, look at those back muscles twist. Yeah, there's something, <laughs> something wrong. <laughs> there's something wrong there. That, that don't look right. 
Maybe we just go back to sleep again? And, okay, let's go back to sleep. Yeah, he never speaks Belgian, so he's French. It's clear. It's clear. <laughs> I beg your pardon. That is stupid. It's like she's just thinking about him telling her how dumb. My daughter that said it would be the easiest way in the world. Just sit in the train till I got to Paris. For now, we may be here for days and days. And my boat sails day after tomorrow. How am I going to catch it now? I can't even wire to cancel my passage. I feel too mad to talk about it. All right. My sister, her children wait for me. What will they be thinking? They will be thinking bad things have happened to me. I have business in Milano. A very rich gentleman with his eye on an Alfa Romeo designed by Enzo Ferrari himself. If I am late, I may lose the sale. Say, you never said what line you were in. That is very true. I didn't. Is that Ratchet? We may be here for days. Who's that? Back in 29, there was a train trapped in the snow like this for a week. The passengers almost starved. Who, old broker? I'm told they hunted wolves for food. There's always cannibalism, of course. I remember one time up near Kashmir, I say. Old man, are you going to eat those rashers of bacon? They're quite nice. The valet. What country is okay. this anyway? Where's the valet? Yugoslavia, I believe. Oh, one of those Balkan things. What can you expect? You work for the train company? Yes, but there isn't much I can do, I'm afraid. They'll send out a plow train from Broad. It's standard procedure. I don't blame you. There's nothing anyone can do. Monsieur Poirot is right, Mary. Governess. Oh? He said you are the strongest English character governess. among That's us. That's her. On I the agree. Left. Oh no. No, indeed. I know one far, far stronger than I am. Who? Michel, you look almost ill. What is wrong? Pardon moi. Mademoiselle Marceau, Monsieur Poirot requests you come to his compartment at once. Mm, Belgian press coffee is very good, yeah. He's played by David Suchet. Yeah, Moon Cat. Mm hmm. Limbo. Oh, David Suchet. David Suchet, he's a cold. He's cold? He's, he's, he got all dressed up in his full suit. But he's to get under the blankie. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'll be right back. to get some no peel string cheese this is no peel so I think that that guy who's in like the that has got like the plaid thing I think that's the valet and I think the rich guy is ratchet just gonna get gotta, gotta get all the faces to the characters now had to get some no peel string cheese you're not supposed to peel it you just bite it one must retain one's decorum He's like dressed to the nines while he's sick in bed. <laughs> How does he get yeah, does he even get dressed? Alright, dual string cheeses. What no has peel. happened to Monsieur Poirot? No peel, no peel. Murder, mademoiselle, of the most savage nature. I have ordered all of the train doors to the outside to be sealed, with the exception of the rear door of the Athens Paris coach. So that the engineer and fireman of the train may keep the engine's boiler provided with the coal. It would become very cold in here otherwise without the steam heat. The attendant... Uh, His name is Matteo, I believe. Ah, Matteo. Will inform us immediately if anyone else attempts to depart the train. Fortunately, the only passenger in the Athens Paris coach is Dr. Constantine here. He has examined the body. Doctor, Mademoiselle Marceau represents the owners of this train. You may speak freely. Oh, no! Who has been killed? Monsieur Ratchet. So what shall we do, Mademoiselle? Okay, there you go. So Ratchet got killed. The rich guy, right? Um, I consider streaming this game from a train. Yes. 
I've considered everything. Eat him soup, read him a story. Uh, you're just like this when you're sick, too. Alright, so there's been a murder. And this is, this is, um... This is the doctor? This guy? So someone strangely got on the train back when we were in Belgrade, and someone also got on the train, like, in the middle of the snow here, too. Maybe you get got getting rid of a murder weapon. We must contact the Yugoslavian police in Vinkovio Broad. Yugoslavian police? <laughs> Are you mad? They will detain us all for weeks while they trample evidence and bluster about with no idea how to solve a murder. <laughs> if only we were in Greece. Dr. Constantine. Greek. Okay, he's Greek. Dr. Constantine, you must learn all you can about the murder. Your faith in my powers is gratifying, miss. But already I have learned all that my expertise can tell me. I am no detective. Monsieur Poirot, I appeal to you. We cannot wait for the Yugoslavian police. They will detain us all for weeks while they trample evidence and bluster about with no idea how to solve a murder. Ah, if only we were in Greece. Take command of the investigation. Oh, must I? No, the cheese wasn't dark matter. It was moldy, yeah. That's why it green strained out. It's okay to eat moldy green string cheese. It's fine. Do it all the time. Uh, you can be on your way to an important case in England, Mr. Mr. Monsire Poirot. My job isn't much, but it's all I have. We both know the longer crime goes. We both know the longer a crime goes uninvestigated, the more difficult it becomes to solve. Ah, yes, of course, I remember. You are the student of crime. And what you say is very true. Student of crime. The same. What about, like, a st st student of, of uh, investigation? Why is it a student of crime? You can be on your way to your important case in England. We can avoid delays, annoyances, and a million and one inconveniences for all the passengers. I am addressing an important medical conference in London in two days. Oui, c'est vrai. Any additional delay would be difficult. Monsieur Poirot, my job isn't much, but it's all I have. The avalanche, your injury, now a murder. If it isn't solved, I will lose my job. No, you cannot be blamed. I will have a word with Marcel. You have my guarantee that he will not fire you. Solve the mystery. All we need say when the police arrive is, here is the murderer. Mademoiselle, use your own powers of observation. Ah, alors Poirot, he is confined to bed in the most serious of pain. How can he take command of anything? In my scrapbook, I have a quote from you. How does it go? To solve a case, a man has only to sit back in a chair and think. Use the little gray cells of your mind. I have often used the murderer's own words to spring my trap. <laughs> and now I am caught by my own. Well done. Eh bien, mademoiselle, I will do what I can. I ask only that you do my legwork. This would appeal to you, I think. For teaming up. You know it would. I will issue to you the challenge I once made to my friend Captain Hastings. Accept, and we will play a little game between ourselves. You will need to use your own little gray cells as much as Poirot. And in the end, we will see if the student of crime is ready to graduate. Refuse? I will guide your investigations much more. Either way, the crime, it will be solved. It is an important decision you must make now before we proceed. I will not ask again. Do you accept? Oh, so we have to, uh, decide to either do it ourselves or have him do a lot for us. I see. Mademoiselle. Uh, I mean, I'll do it. Yeah. I am honored. I gladly accept the challenge. Excellent. Now, if you reach an impasse, think only... It'd be harder, though. What would Poirot do? Imagine that I am there beside you, offering counsel. It may help. So, we begin. Dr. Constantine, take her next door. The worst thing that could happen, I mean, we're not walking through like 50 scenes like the last game. So even if it's like a random wandering around game, we're just wandering back and forth in the train, so it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, this is the dead guy, okay. 
right? Is this the rich guy? Yeah, it's the rich guy. Okay, so the rich guy got killed. The rich guy got killed. Boy, rat the murder guy. Rot, 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 rot. Yeah, it's no peeled cheese. Yeah, that's no peeled cheese. Hey, Nicholas. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you can pick like easy or, or uh, hard mode. And we picked hard mode. Let's see how that goes. I don't know the difference. Oh dear! Ooh. Someone oh. must have stood there and stabbed him again and again. Again. There is something in the pocket of his pajamas. Something heavy. I did not disturb it. Stabbed him again and again and again. Oh, one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight. And perfect stab wounds too. Not even like didn't rip his shirt at all. Oh man. All right, so we're doing the legwork. That's a cool. I think this is a cool premise for changing the story. Boy rot, boy, boy rot. <laughs> Sprains his ankle, and then you, uh, the uh, fan girl of boy rot, does all the uh, investigation. All right. Egg. One fifteen. That agrees with my calculations. One fifteen, but it could have been changed. Could have been changed though. <laughs> well, tell him to stop backseating. Do it. Do, do, do. She does talk in his head, so maybe he'll he'll still help us anyway. Get a lot more Poirot speech if you say no. Yeah, I wonder how that works. I wonder how that works. Normally, games wouldn't do the whole, like, easy mode back... When did this come out? 2006? They wouldn't do, like, the whole easy mode thing. So I wonder, I wonder what the difference is. Maybe he just tells you exactly what to do. Uh, I, I'm wondering how it changes the dialogue. Oh, oh, his gun. His gun did not help him. The man was on... It is bizarre. Why did he not defend himself? He didn't defend himself. That could be a clue. So that means it could be a uh, masterman, the, his valet. Maybe his valet did it, or he was given, or he was drugged. Let's take a look at the gun. Not that. What's going on? This. In spite of its size, it's quite deadly. I thought I, I thought I was saw uh, these guns are like really really awful. For, for doing anything, for doing much of anything at all. Or, I, I guess they just have really short range. I think that was it. Pocket watch. The hand stopped at 115, but, I mean, you can change the time on it. But let's say that it's been subjected to some sort of trauma. But let's say that it, it wasn't changed. So, 115. That's what that yell was. Can we do anything else here? Ah, no blood. <laughs> There's no other blood either. Just a little bit of blood around these these knife wounds. <laughs> Boy Ro <laughs> Boy Ro just faked spraining his ankle. He just doesn't feel like doing anything. He just needs to he needs to get a little rest for God's sake. Alright. Has anything been disarranged in this compartment? <laughs> Matt no, Lock and Boy Ro. I was Cold careful out. not to move the body in making my examination. Nero Wolf, no, I have not heard of him. He doesn't he never leaves his office and solve crimes. Or Boy rot. Boy rot Doctor Who. Ew! I'll take those teeth and the glass and the statue and the cigar and trash. Thank you. I'll just take those. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, false teeth. Very realistic. Okay, so false teeth. So this guy has false teeth. This guy's false teeth. This glass, we probably have to get like a... There's some residue of a white powder visible at the bottom. I think I see a smudge. That other lady was talking about headache powder. Uh, alright, we have cellophane. Okay, how does this work? This, and the... Glass. This doesn't seem to work. Oh, we need to get like some actual powder. There's a white powder in it, and also, but we need to get some actual powder to dust for the fingerprint. Okay, we got a small statuette. Statuette of an Indian woman, it's light for its size. Must be conducive for something, yeah. Okay. Uh, stub of a cigar. Cigar was smoked down to a small stub. And it's stinky, she says. Flat match. Flat paper match, it's been used. Okay. A round match. A round match. So two matches. Two different matches. A paper match and a round match. And scrap of burnt paper. 
Small scrap of paper. Looks like they're made in writing, but I can't read it. I can't read it from this side. Burnt beyond recognition. It says only... Uh, something. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in on it. Yeah, the stab wounds. I think there would be a lot more blood, and there would probably be a lot more than him just going, ah, but that's fine. It's a game. It's a game. It's a story. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in on this. Only out of Frutter Spras Prost Frost I Sugar Quis. Yeah, I don't know what it says. Can't read it. Okay, that's all the items we got. Let's take all those items. You we must you wait. Wait, I see something on the ground. That will do. I see something on the ground. Another scrap of crap. A crap scrap. Hand could chip is embroidered with the letter H. <gasps> right, yeah. To hit, just to hit with that thing, and then would that kind of thing even kill you anyway? Getting shot for that? I guess it could. You gotta insert it into the ear. Yeah, they're like kind of weak, right? Those little guns. A Dillinger. Like a fort. You like this game, Needless? One of the better Agatha Christie games? Okay. It's, uh, it's getting better as we go, definitely. This intro's a little bit weird, but it's getting better now that we're at the murder part here. H. So who has an H in their name? Edicule Poirot does. Uh, Herkenscheimer is the germ... Oh, maybe you find that out later. Maybe you're not supposed to know that. But the chef's last name is Herkenscheimer. Hildegard Schmidt is the lady's maid to drag drag her moth. Hector McQueen is the oil broker, turns secretary to Mr. Ratchet. Uh, Caroline Hubbard is the overbearing widow. Uh, okay, that's it. That's all the H. But it could be like someone's name is actually H and they you don't know it. Hello, I'm afraid. Do we pull what off? Do we pull what off, Flan? What do we pull off? What's head? What is headache powder? Is it like uh, like a cocaine? How many wounds are there, Doctor? I make it twelve wounds. One or two are so slight as to be mere scratches. On the other hand, at least three would be capable of causing death. Uh, hold on, I gotta send a text. Send an important text. Hercule Parrot, very good. Some wounds seem to have bled very good. more Hercule than others. Parrot. You see these two wounds here and here. They are deep. Each cut must have severed blood vessels, and yet the edges do not gape. They have not bled as one would have expected. Mm -hmm. Ratchet was already dead when those were delivered. Some little time dead. Poisoned. The murderer returned to make certain Ratchet was dead? The idea is an absurdity, of course. Even one with no medical knowledge would have been able to tell the man was already quite dead. So poisoned and then came in here and stabbed to throw him off of the poisoning? The wounds are scattered all over the torso. Yes, and you see this wound here, under the, the right arm, near the right shoulder. Could you deliver such a blow? I have a pencil if you would like to try it. That won't be necessary. Right on the right shoulder. How do you account for it? Hmm. Murder had long arms. Ratch rat ratchet thrashed about. A left-handed murderer. A left-handed murderer could strike there easily. But of course, that blow was almost certainly struck with the left hand. Hmm. Yet some of these blows are just as obviously right-handed. Interesting. Ratchet thrashed about as he was dying. On the contrary, he lay completely composed. The bed sheets are not disarrayed at all. The murderer had unusually long arms. Please let us not stray into the land of Poe with his murderous apes stuffing young girls up chimneys. I know something of apes. They kill by pummeling or crushing, not whittling away at their victim. So a ambidextrous murderer, 1920s, 1934, I think. 
Yeah, probably cocaine. 1934, opium, something like that. Can you estimate the time of death? Okay. It is difficult to say exactly in these matters. The open window, the cold you understand, complicates an estimate. But I think I can say definitely that death occurred between midnight and two in the morning. Okay. Tell me about the force of blows. Tell me something about the force of the blows. Aspirin or Some were struck with a terrible ferocity as to drive okay. the knife through hard belts of bone and muscle. Yet others seem to be haphazard and at random, glancing off, doing hardly any damage. Multiple attackers? Blind frenzy? Someone striking with their eyes shut? In a blind frenzy? And struck so many times with their eyes closed to make sure they had managed to hit a vital organ or two? It seems to always go through every choice, so I, I don't think it's like... I don't think I'm actually choosing. Perhaps the killer was uncertain at first, then was overcome with a bloodlust. Or perhaps the killer tired of his exertions, weakening, yet still enjoying himself too much to leave off. Could there be two murderers? Hmm? Perhaps. Some blows could have been struck by a strong man or very athletic woman. Others are weak. A frail woman, perhaps. Or maybe just someone mixing it up. That's all to throw us off the track trail. Track trail. You know? Throw us off the track trail. Alright, let me make sure there's no pixel I missed. The open window. Ooh, open window. I did not close the window Special despite blend of the all chin. three. I thought there might be fingerprints. And the cold, of course, helps preserve the body. Uh, did you try looking at these footprints, dingus? Take care. There may be fingerprints. There's also footprints, dingus. Fingerprints, we need, like, fingerprint powder. See those footprints right outside his window? So someone killed him, went out the window, went back to there. Why don't we follow those footprints? I don't have any powder. We need to get powder. Can we open this up, or... Oh, yeah, we need to get, like... Quite interesting. <laughs> there. Quite interesting. So sometimes Poirot is in our mind. Take care. Okay. So we need to come back here with powder and dust this and maybe even like... I mean, it, she didn't say anything about the fingerprints. I mean, the footprints. Oh! Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, this is like my wardrobe. Brown, black, gray. Oh. Sleeping drought. Regarde, am I so quick to roll out the ape? He's hiding something. Could be a ghost ape. Nothing else to. Could be. I've already searched it thoroughly. Regarde. Nothing else to. So she's hearing him in his head. I've already. She's obsessed with Poirot. Nothing else. I hope at the end Poirot and her kiss. Every adventure game. Every adventure game, even made today, the the men and the women in it always kiss at the end. I've already. So I hope her and Poirot kiss at the end. Nothing else to. They need. They need. Then they can make son or or daughter of Poirot. At the moment, I think I needed else. We so got some sleeping drought. So one teaspoon mixed with water to be taken at bedtime. So maybe it was overdone. Bottle's half empty or half full. So maybe he was given too much of his own sleeping drought. He took overdose with sleeping drought. Someone close to him. There is something in the pocket. Okay, Poirot. <laughs> this is Poirot yelling that through the wall. Matchbox 20. Round matches. But there were two different types of matches in his thing. There was also a flat match. Maybe, so he was using matches to smoke his cigars, but also someone used a flat match to burn the scrap of burnt paper. Didn't burn it all the way. Hmm, what's this down here? I see a pixel. Of a different color than the others. And I think it is a Evadon. Sorry. Sasquatch. You like mute colors? Yeah, black, gray, brown. That's all that's all I'm about. Here, are you two? Maybe a blue. But when I wear a blue, I feel like I'm pushing it a little too hard, you know? Pipe cleaner! A slightly used pipe cleaner. Ha ha ho. And a hat. One hat. Uh uh. Uh. Chapeau? Uh, chapeau, Poirot in the tower. I can see something on the label that says Rev 1318. Oh, a reverence cap. Hmm. A reverence cap. Was there a reverend on board? I don't think there was a reverend on board. Governess, orphanage, missionary. That could be, but why would she have that? 
I don't think there's a reverend on board where it says Rev 1318 like a Bible verse or is that something else? Kiss, yeah, I love at the end of Mist when when you kiss Atrus. Yeah, it's great. Hey, zombie. Close to Lara Bow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like detective games too. I love Lara Bow. I can't wait for Crimson Diamond to come out. Alright, anything else in here? Any other... So apparently this game has awful pixel hunts, as we see from that pipe cleaner. I think that's everything. We can't go in the bathroom. That isn't the best. Alright, let me just drop a massive deuce in this toilet now. Oh, it stinks in here, mademoiselle. Yeah, sorry. The new hot... Yeah, Poirot Jr. I mean, Poirot Jr. Alright, should we go back and talk to Poirot? Tell her... Tell him what we found? <laughs> ah, good I old can't Atris. do that now. Okay, we don't need to search through Poirot stuff. Can we talk to Poirot? Monsieur Poirot. Why does she say it wrong? Muffle, muffle. Is it muffle? Oh, she's. That's the recap. <laughs> Muffled talking. <laughs> How long does this go for? Or a mute, mute blue. Yeah, that can be okay. Sometimes I wear a dark red. A dark red as well. Wow, this goes on for a really long time. Do I have to click? Or? And that is everything <laughs> I've discovered so far. We progress, mademoiselle. Now, let us see what we can learn. Yeah, maybe we have to find a Bible. Okay. All right, we'll just we'll just talk to Poirot about this. The wounds tell too many different stories. Wait, oui, the matter begins to clear itself up wonderfully. Wait, oui. the murderer was a man of great strength. He was feeble. It was a woman. It was a right-handed person. It was a left-handed person. Ah, say regolo to sa. And the victim, what it's does he do in all of this? Does he cry out? Does he struggle? Does he defend himself? No. He awaits his doom with the greatest composure. All right, you don't have to yell at me, Poirot. <laughs> it's from the Bible, Flan. Is Rev a thing from the Bible? The box of matches suggests the round one belonged to Monsieur Ratchet. I concur. Okay, finally, we got one with him. The pipe cleaner and the handkerchief. The pipe cleaner and the handkerchief are good clues. Possibly. What can we learn from them? I do like this structure of finding clues and then talking to Poirot about it. That's cool. And also how he yells at you sometimes. Um. Oh. Remember the bottle I found in the suitcase? Sleeping drought. Wait, a sleeping drought? Wait. And the bottle half empty. It would be instructive to learn if Ratchet took his usual dosage last night. That's what's in the glass. The residue in the tumbler. What of the residue in the tumbler? A sleeping powder, perhaps, such as that I found in the suitcase. It might explain why Monsieur Ratchet did not cry out when he was attacked. A possibility. However, Wait. in my experience, the usual dose of a sleeping draft would not be strong enough to prevent awakening if one were violently attacked. Well, you gotta hear more. The gun was not the fired. The gun was unfired. He would certainly have defended himself if he had been able. For now, it might be better if you keep the gun with you for your protection. I would not like our collaboration cut short prematurely. Cest Rigolo. Broken watch tells us time of death. I don't think that... I don't know if saying things is changing, like, your points. You're like, you get, like, some secret Poirot points in the background. That's why I wish I could find the manual. I just don't feel like searching for it right now. There's a fingerprints button... I don't know if there's like Poirot points. Sometimes you can say the wrong thing. Sometimes it just makes you say everything. Um, the best I have is like a game fax. Uh, okay. It looks like you just have to say everything. The broken watch tells us the time of death exactly. Very convenient, the broken watches. 115. Well within Dr. Constantine's estimate of midnight to 2 a.m. What you say is true. But it's too convenient. Hey, Derek Ironbutt. Oh, it's a book of revelations. Uh, do I want to know what it says? I assume we'll find out in the game, or we can just look it up anytime, yeah. Or you can tell me what it says. It's fine. Because I can just look it up anyway. Unless we find it out in the game. It doesn't really matter. Are the false teeth important? Only to one who must wear them. And why you took for yourself the false teeth of the dead man is not for Poirot to ask. <laughs> but I hope they prove themselves as useful to you 
as they undoubtedly did to him. False teeth? Well, there's a lot of crap to say here. The small metal statuette, it is very old. So... And possibly quite valuable. Take it with you. Learn more of it if you can. So the Indian, um, was an Indian statuette though, right? Colonel Francis Arbutnot was from, was stationed in India. The footprints outside the window, okay, we're mentioning them. The footprints outside the window are important. What did they say to you? The killer may have fled the train. And gone where? Still, they must be investigated. That could have been the dead guy might have left, left and done, did that to sneak into, uh, I don't know, maybe somebody else's room, you know? I found the inscription REV 1318 printed on the hat band of his hat. Mm, a curious inscription indeed for the hat. It says the beast out of the sea. It says the beast out of the sea, what it says. I found only the cigar in the ashtray. No pipe. Certainly, this is a clue masculine. Monsieur Ratchet smokes the cigar, lighting it with a round match, and someone else, still to be determined, smokes the pipe, lighting it with a flat match. Yeah. Someone else is if we find a pipe. Okay. The letter H can help us find the owner of the handkerchief. A clue feminine. So dainty. And to have the letter embroidered upon it is so convenient. One cannot complain of having no clues in this case. If a man killed Ratchet... After right. the sociable smoke... Then the woman came in later, not noticing he was dead, and attacked him as well. Hmm? Also, not noticing that she had dropped her handkerchief. Hmm, very fortunate for us that she was so unobservant. The burnt paper could be significant. What strikes you as most important? Wait, so two people may have attacked him? Then it would be the, the lovers. What strikes me as most important? Not cigar or pipe ashes, the burned paper. Not cigar or pipe ashes, burned paper. Precisamo. But the paper is impossible to read. It is possible that some of the writing on the paper can be made legible again if the scrap can be protected, flattened, and held firmly in place while the heat is applied. Okay. I will need something with which to handle the paper most delicately. We got the Bunsen burner. Two objects of metal netting that we can place it between. Metal netting. And a source of constant heat. Doesn't matter. Collect for me these items, and we will see what we shall see. Vraiment! Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. The, it says the beast out of the sea. I was probably I would probably look it up anyway. It's fine. I should look for okay, the tone. items Monsieur Poirot needs to read the burnt scrap of paper. I'm not going to give you the no back seat. I'm not going to give it to you. I just, yeah, I can't resist. Don't back seat. Don't back seat. No, I'm not mad. I don't care. But I just like playing this. It's just fun to play this. Don't back seat. It's just fun to play that. I don't mean it. It's fine. I don't care about the Bible thing. Poirot's so sexist. Yeah, what is that? What is that? Uh, masculin, clou, feminin. Is that's a thing that he does? Um, uh, meaning po Poirot, Clue, Feminine, Masculine. What does that mean when he does that? Poirot's femininity from murder, uh, Mrs. Marple versus the mansplainers. What is going on here? What does that mean? Does was uh, I know that I know that in French, words can be masculine or feminine. Is it your your cheese, your cheese, Mithril. Let's set fire to it even more. Does he can read it? No, you're fine, Tone. Your tone. No, you're fine. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't care. I, I wanted to know. I wanted. I literally said you can tell me. You're fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. I just like playing this. Don't back seat. Just like I like playing all kinds of things. Just like I like playing this. Night, Tom. Just like I like playing. Uh, all kinds of things. This. Glad to hear your cheese. Any side, any side quest for you, Heracle Senpai? Yeah, he's our senpai. He's our senpai. I get the Christy grew to resent him as a character. Why? Because he's so great. Um. Okay, so it's just something about how he talks. You probably get the reference if you've seen more, uh, 
if you've seen more Hercules Poirot. Uh, so let's see. We have the Bunsen burner. Do we have to combine them all? We also have the tongs. Wait. Something is wrong. That holds it, right? But we need a metal netting? A metal netting? Instead of metal netting, right? Pipe clue. Wait, oh, that's a clue. I can't use that. Matches to light it. I think I have everything we need. I think I have everything we need. Du, 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 du. Oh, yeah, the haircut videos. I just like playing that. I need more things to play. Oh, wait, there's also, um... Lumberjack transformation. I gotta use that more. I can't do that. Let's look through Poirot's stuff. Now is not Poirot, uh, can I have some of your underwear, by the way? Like, I'm a big fan, big fan. Poirot, can I use your bathroom? Oh, what's this? Nothing here. Nothing in here. Poirot, good don't have anything in there, huh? Poirot, can I use your bathroom? You mind? Uh, do I, can I give him these items? Or, not the matches. Give him the Bunsen burner. This is neither the tot. Okay, I think I have to just Mute. go find all the right things. Then come back, maybe, and then talk to him. Oh wait, maybe, maybe we have the right items. I am having trouble. Mademoiselle, you are having the difficulties what? obtaining something with which to handle, handle the, the burn paper, paper, the tongs. Also the two objects of metal netting, metal netting. and a source of constant heat. Okay, metal netting. Oh, it gives you a little... If you get stuck, you can go back to him and get hints. No, I... Excellent. So, so far, I would say that this game's, like, way better than the last one. Even though the last one is good, this one actually feels like a game you can play and figure out. Like, it's way more... It's designed way more investigate rather than running around randomly. Energy drink commercial. Oh, I need to get that on the, uh... Yeah, we do have an energy drink. Yeah, I forgot to play that the other day. The worst part of the day is definitely morning. An energy drink for your, for your left ear. Those first couple hours of work. Hit me with Retrograde Tom. Oh, yeah, you gotta hit me with Tom. Reducing Tom. From Gatorade, the new energy drink for morning. Fuel for the body and the brain. The Retrograde. An orange. The Tom. Is the power of three carbohydrates. With or without caffeine. Hey, I need all the help I can get. Man, oh my god. <laughs> Retrograde that Tom. Good. I could easily just redo that video and, and put the audio on both ears. But I don't. But I don't. Yeah, our inventory's filling up, Abe. I hope we get a ladder later. Hope we get a ladder later. An LL, a ladder later. Do I still have the toilet video? No, I have to redo it. I'll make a note. I'll make a note. To toilet. I, I don't have the files. I don't have the files. I gotta get my other computer out. Get files. The files. The door to locked. I cannot. Metal netting. What is metal netting? We got everything we need but the metal netting. We need the metal netting. Can we go in other people's rooms? This door is tightly locked. Oh, we can go in some other people's rooms. Oh, we're just going we're just going all up in other people's rooms. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Perfect. Oh, we're just taking this then. Okay. So you just have to go in a random room? Alright, so at least they kept the uh At least they kept some aspects of you just wander into wander around randomly and this looks like a puzzle box. Puzzle box. Let me see if I can get this it. Game open. Have puzzles. I need all the help I can get. Ooh, are we puzzle boxing it? Oh, are we really doing this? I can't this? seem to get. Are we? I don't think. A puzzle box. Is this a secret? Uh, this is. Fr Shush. That isn't. Uh. I don't think. Huh? Oh boy. Okay, so you can click here, here, here. Okay. Uh, I can't see. I don't know where to start. Okay. Oh, that's the panel. Okay. That isn't. I can't seem to get. Okay, push this one that I way too. I fear that. Okay. This one. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. This way. I tried. This way. I don't think. That... Uh, this one. I fear. Th okay, that's fine. So this way. 
This way. This way. I can't. This way. I tried. Up. This way down. That wasn't. Fine. This way. This way. I tried. That way. I can't. This way. This way. Yes. Yes. This way. I don't think that. This way. I tried. What? This way. I fear that. Fine. This way. This way. This way. This way. I don't think that. This way again. I can't seem to. This way. Down. What? Annoying. The way they do this is annoying. That is. This way. I can't seem. This up. Up. I fear. What? This way. I tried. This way. Uh, other order. Different order. Oh boy. This down. That isn't right. This up. This back. Okay. Now this up. Again. Up. Keep. I can't seem keep to. Going get... up. I this don't way. think. I am. Lo huh? I tried. Huh? This that way. Isn't right. This way. This way. This up. This I don't up again. Think that... How do we do it? Last time. That back. I tried. Okay. This back. This back. This up again. Uh, this out. This that way. This up again. I don't think. This that way. I tried. Way. This back. That was ah! right. Why did I have you do it like this? This way. This way. This up. This back. This back. This up. This. This way. This way. This that up. Isn't right. I can't seem. To... Oh, ah! this is right. Okay. Oh yeah, thanks, Kira. I'll be right back. Give me one minute. Puzzle box. More like a more like a trial and error box. It's just why do they have to reset you? So you can it that doesn't isn't... I tried. Okay. So this is what you do first. And then you send it back. And then up. And then out the other side. And then up? That isn't or right. down. I tried. I back. fear that I... I don't think... I can't see... Up? I don't think that's... Down? Okay. It, like, makes you restart the... And then up again? I tried. How about this over this way? First try. And now, to see what was so cleverly guarded. First try. I'll return this after I've discerned if it has any bearing on the case at hand. You're just stooping around in everyone's room. You're not allowed to do this. Did Hercules Poirot ever do puzzle boxes? Dragomorph's locket. Oh, we just took this lady's locket. A picture of a young girl inside. She looks vaguely familiar. Huh, what the? That's a, that's a human being? Looks like a pudding monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Alright, so we're just supposed to go through everyone's cabin? We're just supposed to rifle through everyone's a, luggage? A single pipe smoker aboard, and all roads lead to him. Right. Nothing else. So we're just supposed to rifle through everyone's luggage? Is this the metal netting we're I supposed to do? 
Oh, do we, so we have to go through everyone's sh lock? We have to go through everyone's first try. Go through everyone's lockers and stuff? I see nothing. Nothing just. Penny loafers? Penny loafers. Can we, uh, can't look at the window? Okay. Okay. Alright, so we went through. I didn't look at her locker. I can't see some shoesies. Nothing to see. Okay, we probably have to check footprints later. Foot shoe size, shoe size later. Hope there's no awful pixel hunt we miss. All right, so that was Dragomov and the. Uh, so the pipe smoker, the Colonel, pipe smoker, and the Princess Dragomov has a picture of a pudding girl. Where is everyone? Are they in their rooms? Locked. The door is okay, locked. so we haven't been able to go in here yet. It was empty. That would be good if it was empty. It's locked. Magically meditated. I mean, I know, I know of um, I like puzzle boxes like that, but I don't like when they make you restart because that's not how an actual puzzle box works. You just like mess around with it and try to push things the correct way. It's not gonna like totally restart the whole thing unless you break it, just smash it open. We probably just smash it open. All right, let's rifle through everyone's luggage. What is that? A blackjack? That's a, yeah, a sap or a sap. A blackjack, I guess, is different. A sap for knocking people out. A little small leather sack filled with lead shot. Damn. To knock people unconscious. Oh, jeez. I've already nothing else. Okay, so we're looking through everyone's luggage. Whose room was this again? Hardman. Is this Hard? This is Hardman's room. Hardman had a sap. We have met. We have not met Hardman. I can't okay, see regular it. shoes. I get these shoes. You ever realize why everyone's wearing the same thing in old photos? It's because there was only one clothing shop. You just buy. Everyone would buy the same thing. It's not stealing. That's true. It's investigating. But I don't think it's been agreed that we would do this. But that's fine. I think it might be like in the last game where we're just going ahead of ourselves. I think I'm just supposed. To, oh, we but we did have to find the netting in Princess Dragomov's room, so we are supposed to do this now. What's this stuff? What is that? Typewriter ribbon. Oh, a bunch of typewriter ribbons. Okay, interesting. 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 The game was pretty cool, and we were talking to Poirot. Now that we're just randomly going through everyone's room, for for no reason with no permission, it seems a little weirder. But whatever. Whatever. It's a video. It's a video game. You gotta suspend your disbelief. I cannot take these towels. I can't take these towels. There are no. T I can't. Alright, let's go do the um. Quite mo Let's go do the whole burning thing, and then we'll explore some more. So we can't go in any of these rooms. Pudding girl <laughs> this is the best new clue character. This door is. Pudding girl in the kitchen with the bowl of pudding. Hubbard's room. I mean, while we're going past the rooms, we might as well. No, this hat frame will not work. Okay. Hat. This hat frame. Frame. Everyone. I'll put this into my scrapbook so I can take a closer look at it later. Everyone has a funny object in their. Uh, Nothing in else their to luggage. see in there. Okay, so we just got. What do we get? Document. Chatty letter. This is from Maureen, Maureen, um, this is from, or this is, mummy, wh whose room is this? Mummy, dear, Max sends over his love, as do, as do your beautiful grandchildren. Sorry, we'll only have the one night before you sell home, but the memories of your visit will remain with us always. We're looking forward to you tucking them in on their last night in Europe and telling them a story like, the, like Hansel and Gretel. Susie wonders if there's a recipe for baked witch. What troubles you had in Prague and Istanbul with the outrageous service at hotels, careless porters, beggars, and the like, particularly after the incidents in London and here? Traveling outside America can be a chore, but I'm sure the American consulates, those oases of American values, were able to help you sort things out. But just think, Mommy, inconveniences and unpleasant foreigners are all behind you as you travel aboard the luxurious train. It's the simplest and easiest way to travel. Just sit in the train till you reach Paris. Can't wait to hear you all about the fun times you had aboard my favorite train in the world. I think that was the widow. The overbearing widow, I think. Caroline. I've already Hubbard. Right? I should look at the room before I go in it. Yeah. Okay, so this is the real annoying lady. 
What's that? I see. Where? Where? A button. A button. This button appears to have come to the conductor's uniform. So a conductor came into this room for some reason. A man came into this room. We have to look for a uniform missing a button. She said a man came into her room, but they didn't find us. So maybe a man went through, through the room. Nothing else. Took went through here, and who knows why. Same shoes. Everyone's got the same, same ass shoes. Oh, we should save actually. Should save just in case the game crashes. We really should save. What in girls a suspect and potentially a weapon, and potentially a murder weapon. I've already. Okay, we already searched this one. This is the dead guy's room. We didn't look at his shoes, though. We didn't look in his shoe closet. Or we did, and there's nothing here. Okay, so we searched that. Okay. Alright, now back to Poirot. So, Ratchet's... Hubbard's room is next to... Oh, so... Oh, I see. So someone went into Hubbard's room. And then went into Ratchet's room and killed his ass. And he was wearing a conductor's uniform. Alright, Poirot, I got the thing you want to, uh, with the netting and whatnot. I am having trouble. No, I have Not it all. Ahead. No, I... Excellent. I'm glad that we can skip things if it's too hard for you guys. So you don't get too frustrated. Alright, hat frame, tongs, uh, and the note, and the Bunsen burner. I can't get them to fit. What? What you mean? What you mean, don't... Yeah, it do. Do fit. What do you mean, don't fit? Do fit. It do. It do fit. Maybe if they do this first? Mademoiselle, take care. The ice tongs are far too clumsy. Oh. Try the curling tongs of my moustache. There. I give you the hint and progress one step closer to winning our challenge. Oh, I can't use the ice tongs. Oh, I can just click X. Oh. I need to get his, I need to get Monsieur Poirot's curling tongs right here. I didn't know I was allowed to take his stuff. I would have never figured that out. I would never take something of Hercules Poirot's. Okay. The curling tongs have the burnt paper firmly so but saying, delicately why? Why? in their grip. The medic and Lenin Vega through a street. Going through strangers' <laughs> rooms without permission. Oh, okay. I haven't read the book, so I don't know. I didn't know. Way, 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 way. Yeah, sap. Mm hmm. Blackjack. Oh, I hope I never get knocked unconscious by by that kind of thing, you know? Okay, so now we got the tongs holding the paper. Now we need this netting. Use this on it. This doesn't seem... No? Uh... Or we... Need to do the... Netting and the... Um... Bunsen burner thing? I can't... Oh, can I just talk to him and say we got it? I am having trouble. No, I Mama have it. I have it all. No, I just have to. I have to figure out how to combine it. Uh, maybe gotta combine all three. We need the letter now. The weird looking. Looks weird, but why does it look like that? Combine all these. This doesn't. I don't know. Uh, the netting and the no netting. Okay, fork and netting. Those don't. Okay. Fork and Bunsen burner. Ugh. This inventory is somehow worse than the last game. Fork and Bunsen burner. Something is. Okay. Bunsen burner and netting. Ugh. I can't. Okay, so I don't know what they want me to do. This matches? Oh, maybe matches with the lamp first. Matches with the lamp first? The lamp is now. Okay. We're being real dicks about this, but okay. Now that. Those don't. Okay. I'm being real dicks about this year. <laughs> uh, I might have to do something else again, though. Uh, uh, now these two together, burning. Them. This doesn't. Okay, now do I have what we need? I am having trouble. Ah! Mom was. Okay. No, excellent. Okay, so let me see. Why? 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 It just doesn't want to open. Uh, okay, we lit that. Okay, but I tried everything. I tried to mix everything. This with this netting something is wrong huh a okay that and that and this this doesn't the mustache curling tongs holding by paper hot frame maybe i gotta like uh break this cut this maybe i have to cut this first with something cut it with 
the gun. Cut it. I don't have anything to cut it. Or, like, bend it. Uh, pipe cleaner? Pipe cleaners? Something. Is I'm not sure exactly. What they want. Smash it with this? Smash it with this? I can't. No? This is what we need. Can I just give this to him here? That isn't going to help. No? God damn it. I, have, I don't know if I have what we need. I'm confused. I'm gonna have to get. Mute, pardon, mademoiselle. But that choice will not gain you a favorable result. Wait, it's him talking in my head as I try to use something on him? I'm looking in your shoe cabinet. No shoes. Hmm. The shoeless French detective. I can't do. Hercules Poirot. Okay, hey buddy, don't touch my stuff. Um, uh, the ribbon? Is it the ribbon that I need to do something with the ribbon? And it's gonna like ink's gonna go something on the is ribbon. Something with the ribbon. The ribbon on this. I can't get. Or the hat. I, I don't understand how the netting is used anyway. How do you use the netting anyway? It said we needed. I am having. Mademoiselle, you are two, having uh, the difficulty of obtaining of something netting. with which to handle the burned paper. Also, the two objects of metal. Two objects of metal netting. Okay. No, I. Maybe we need one excellent. more object of metal netting. Okay. Two objects of metal netting. Not one. Two. Can you not count to two, Madame? Is that David Suchet? It certainly is. Playing Hercules Poirot, the famous French detective. Nothing to see. I see nothing remarkable. Two objects of metal netting. We need another hat. Uh, Another hat uh, thing. Another hat thing. It's locked fast. Locked fast. I don't need anything else from my suit. It's my suitcase. It's locked. Olson's suitcase is mad locked. Mat locked. Oh, ooch! Splendid. We're taking everybody's hat netting. Everyone's hat's gonna be all indented and or just dented in. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Thank you uh, for the sub. Zombie, thank this you. doesn't seem to work. Okay, I got. I think we got it all now. I think we got it all now. That should be good. Thank you for the sub, zombie. Thank you very much. Okay, that should be good. I have everything I need to read the paper. Easy. That is most pleasing. That was so easy. I have all the pieces. That's most all that pleasing. remains is for me <laughs> to assemble them properly. Thanks for the prime. Okay. This. This. The good detective knows. I won't do that. Huh? No, that. What? Uh, the paper. Like that. Okay. Uh, and then what? This again. The paper holder is now in place. Oh, that's for so I can hold the paper. Okay. I don't. I don't understand how this is gonna work, but okay. And then. This is neither the. That. How does this work? It's just heating it up so you can. It's letting the ink like. Smoking out the ink. Remember little. Tell me what to do. Remember little Daisy Armstrong. Daisy Armstrong, c'est ça. I now know the real name <laughs> of the dead man, and I know why he had to leave America. Monsieur Poirot, I have documented that case in my scrapbook. Thanks, Kira. I remember where the case. Ten years ago, Colonel Armstrong was an Englishman. He married the daughter of Linda Arden, the most famous tragic American actress of her day. They lived in the city of New York and had one child, three years old, whom they adored. Two men snatched Daisy from the arms of her nurse maid. The police were convinced that the young woman had some knowledge of the crime and questioned her relentlessly. The enormous ransom was paid, but two weeks passed with no word from the kidnappers. And then there was a break in the case. Two brothers named Perkinson were identified by witnesses and tracked to a farmhouse somewhere outside of the city. The Perkinsons were arrested at the farmhouse where they and the woman not identified had been hiding. They were tried and convicted. At their trial, they implicated Cassetti, not only as the mastermind of the scheme, but the man who shot the little girl. Where? The cheerful testimony of the Perkinson brothers surprised many, but they admitted their guilt. And in America, the crime carries the maximum penalty. During the sentencing, the Perkinson brothers tried to make the escape. No. Jeffrey was captured, but not his brother Robert. And Cassetti had vanished without a trace. Resetty? Madame Armstrong gave birth to a dead child born prematurely, hmm. and she herself died. Hmm. The evening after the double funeral, 
A broken-hearted uh, Colonel Armstrong returned to the family brownstone on Park Avenue, locked himself in his study, and shot himself. Jeez Louise. A body was discovered in the New York Harbor shortly after Jeffrey Perkinson died in the electric chair. It was Another identified by a relative as Robert Perkinson. If he was a suicide or killed by Cassetti, hmm, was never known. Cassetti was still at large, seen now here, now over there, and still more tragedy was to follow. Oh, so many dead people. The police refused to believe the hysterical denials of the poor girl, hoping she might lead them to Cassetti. In a fit of despair, the poor girl threw herself from a window. I like how they circled the window and drew an arrow down. It was proved afterwards that she was absolutely this is how they jumped out. innocent of any complicity in the crime. Cassetti was the man, there can be no doubt. He had used the same methods in the past. Hired men down on their luck to do the dangerous work, but taking most of the ransom for himself. And always killing the victim if the police were closing in. He had many enemies, that one. Is that... I cannot regret that he is dead. I guy? agree with you, mademoiselle. Still, it is not necessary that he should be killed aboard one of our trains. There are other places. Indeed. The investigation continues. Wait, is that ratchet? And we progress, no? Was the kidnapper? And now is the time for the assembling of the evidence. Collect all passports, gather information about our suspects, seek out any clues, follow every possible trail. Hey, whatevs, Liz. Dented hats on the Orient Express. Ooh, part two. Dented hats on the Orient Express. <laughs> this is a side story. That's DLC. Kira, thanks for the 118 bits. Please tell me. Grace, tell me it what seems to have gotten extremely do. cold in here. I know. I don't. I don't need to. Mademoiselle, <laughs> the engineer has just informed me. A rock from the avalanche. It struck the undercarriage of the coal tender. The pipe that carries the steam that heats the train is damaged. It must be repaired, or we will all freeze oh, to Oh, is this an adventure game puzzle? All right, we gotta repair the steam pipe. Could this be coincidence? Either way, I'd better look into it immediately. Okay. Yeah, thank you for the other the other two please tell me what to do. I'm not confused right now, though. I know I need to collect evidence right now. Please tell me what to do. Let's make a new save. All right, chapter two. Okay. So, does that- are they saying that Ratchet was actually Cassetti, the kidnapper? Was Cassetti the kidnapper? And then he was killed because it remember what happened to her, or maybe he was somehow involved? I don't know. Uh, alright, so now we gotta take everyone's passport? Alright, so now we have- now we have the right to go in everyone's room. I see. We had- we had to take people's hat, uh, things before this anyway. This wash- I cannot take these towels. I can't take these towels. Oh, I can't. I just simply can't. Oh, hello. Got your passport up here, huh, lady? Got any? Got any hat? Quite uh, interesting. Got any hat netting up here, lady? Give me that box. Nothing else. <laughs> I'm gonna take whatever I want. Schmidt's suitcase. Schmidt is ladies' maid to Princess Dragonoff. Dragomirov. And inside. Regarde, mademoiselle. CMH. A napkin or a handkerchief. That's Debenham's suitcase. Debenham is the governess between jobs and her way home. British one. British governess. Dainty handkerchief with CMH. But her name is Mary Debenham, so why does she have CMH? Cassetti? Cassetti MH? Hey, Dev Ismo. What was the other item that we just got? This box, some kind of box. A small latched box. What's in here? The recipes are written on index cards and stored alphabetically. Hmm. Box full of recipes, huh? Hmm. Could be code for something else. Is this in the documents? Chatty letter. The challenge. Oh, this tells you if you screwed up. So if you try to use the wrong things, you lose points. Oh, that's stinky. Maybe. Maps of the route and sub timetable. Oh, it gives you a little timetable. Let's see. Ratchet's bell rings. Ratchet says, Ce n'est rien. Je suis me trompe. Je, je me suis trompe. I'm tired. Don't bother me. I'm tired. 1.15 a.m. His watch breaks. 1.17. Miss Hubbard thinks there's a man in her room. 
Maybe the watch broke before then, because that's probably the murderer. 122, a thud is heard. A woman in the scarlet kimono is seen. When was the scream, though? When was the scream? The scream. I don't remember when the scream was. It doesn't say anything about the scream. 126, Antoinette returns to her compartment. 11 a.m., Ratchet's found dead. That's us. Right? Yes, Antoinette is us. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, how you doing? Right, where's your shoe? Where's your shoe case? We can speak later, no? Where's your shoe case? I need to look in your shoe, your shoe closet. Schmidt and Debenham. Ratchet was Cassetti, is what is what they're, is what Poirot said. All right, McQueen, McQueen's room. McQueen is the American oil broker locked turned secretary. Fast. Locked room. Masterman and Foscarelli. Masterman, the valet, to Mr. Ratchet. This door is tightly locked. Foscarelli, an American car salesman, also tightly locked door. We got to repair a steam pipe under the thing, under the place. Hey, Daffy. About six and a half hours, yeah. I gotta go soon, though. I gotta go soon. It's bad roads out there. I don't want to drive in the dark. Looks like it cleaned up a little bit, but... I'm a little icy out there. Might be a little icy. Uh, this game, we started about two hours ago, I think. It's been about two hours of this game. The decor has a pronounced floral motif. Overall, I would say this game is better than the last one. I would expect nothing. Did a much better job, but there's still like some janky bullcrap in here. But it's rare that an adventure game, especially a 3D adventure game, does not have a janky bullcrap. Very rare. This is the car salesman, I think. He looks like a slimy fellow. Playing solitaire. Uh, how can I talk to you when my my teeth they they ch they chatter so? Oh, he's real cold. Wait, that doesn't sound like an American. Well, I mean, you know, you can have a different accent being an American, but... That might be the Spanish attendant. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm just looking up all the list of people. Or is this... I don't know who this is. We'll figure it out as we go. Um... Okay. Please tell me... That's why I needed that list earlier. I didn't put any names to the... Uh, names to the faces, even though they gave us all that information. Um, okay, the the two, the count and the countess. You guys cold? I'm sorry, I'm much too concerned for my wife's health to speak with you now. We must find a way to get the heat restored. All right, we can't talk to anybody to restore the heat. Surely there is something someone can do to get the heat working again. I guess I'll do it. Why do I have to do it? Not like the engineers. <laughs> I mean, I'm cold. Can you restore the, the heat? An avalanche, a murder, and now no heat. Okay. All right. An avalanche. All right. I guess we got to uh, restore the heat. I would expect... I have to do it. Quite. Not the damn engineer. The engineer who, by the way, earlier was like a woman. You know, I will not take orders from a woman. These etchings are my... Now we're going to fix the... Now we got to... I would ex I got to fix the damn steam pipe under the... Get under there with a the welder. Cessnest pas... Un... Pipe. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Look at this. How is how's there any room for the food? That's all plates and dishes. How do you get the food on here? Who are you? I beg your pardon, mademoiselle, but could we talk at another time? No, let me look at your uniform. No room for the food on these on these tables. Coal shoveling mini game. <laughs> this door. I'll, I'll have to shovel this coal. Everyone is so cold. A recipe for murder in that box. Oh, that would this be easy. door leading outside has been ordered sealed by Monsieur Poirot, so that no one may use it to exit the train. Why do they pronounce his name wrong? To the baggage car we go. The door to the baggage car is locked. We'll unlock it. I'm investigating damn murder. Voulez-vous coche avec Marseille Sawyer? Okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> he spelled it wrong. He spelled languages are all just molecules. It's all just the same thing, you know? Okay, man, listen to that windy, windy wind blowing. That's like some real windy wind. Alright, do I need to go in other people's rooms? They're not here. 
You can't go in the their room. It's suspicious. Locked. So some people are locking they these rooms. Did we do we need to go in their rooms again? Because we need to get passports. I won't find we need to get passports. I am not as Okay. So we gotta fix we we can't talk to anybody. Nothing else. Until we fix this 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 damn pipe. We can't talk to me. I'm not gonna bother. Fix the pipe. Fix it. Give me a key to the baggage car. I would like a key to the baggage car. Now, please, take one of mine. Why I'm... do you have more than one key to the baggage car? Where, where's all your buttons? I often assist with the loading and unloading at oh, the smaller five, six, stations. Seven. Sometimes I must loan a key to the handlers. That will be enough, Pierre. Give me the key. You're my subordinate. Looks like you're missing a button right here, mister. Suspicious. I gotta go anyway. Uh, let's save over chapter two. Seems seems pretty good. You can actually play.